Hi, Stitchy Friends. Hi, Stitchy Friends. <laughs> We're back. Finally. Woo! <laughs> Finally. It's been a hot minute, hasn't it? A uh, hot few minutes, yes. Yes. So uh, today's Floss Tube episode number 20. It's um, the 31st of August. August. We got a video in in August. Yay, us. Um, and if you're new here, this is a channel about cross stitch. And um, that's that's pretty much it, cross stitch. You're Sarah <laughs> and I'm Jen. Thank you, yes. Yeah, yes. and we're the Stitchy Friends. Yes, we are. Thank stitchy you. Stitchy Friends, so. So, yeah. yeah. Thanks for joining us today. We have a lot to talk about. Yes. We so. have not, We've our schedules have not matched for a while. No. Um, we've both been traveling and just lots going on. And um, so hopefully we're going to catch everybody up to date. And yes. Yeah, so let's just dive do. right yes. in. Let's do a personal update. Okay. Do you want me to go first or do you want to go first? Uh, it doesn't matter. You go first. Okay, I'll go first. Um, so, as a lot of you know who have been watching before, I'm a teacher. So, back to school, full force. Um, gosh, we went back on the 11th. That was early. I know. Um, That's really early. Yeah. And, oh, I want to say thank you to lots and lots of people. <gasps> oh, Yes, because um, I was uh, encouraged by our stitchy friends to post my Amazon wish list on Instagram for your class books for, for my your class. for my class. Yes, yeah. not for me. <laughs> that would be nice. That would be weird. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, no, I posted a wish list on Instagram, and um, you know, with books and some other things that I needed for my classroom. Because you know, if you know a teacher, you know that we we provide a lot of those things out of our own pocket, which I'm not complaining about. It's just a lot, it's difficult. And so um, any help that I can get or any help you can give to a, a fellow teacher, if you're able, you know, we truly appreciate. So um, I got a lot of wonderful new books for my classroom. I got to see them and they're oh my great. Gosh. Wonderful selection, beautiful yes. books. Beautiful. And um, mm -hmm. a lot, a lot of books. So yes, I even got a, a nice bookshelf to put in the front of the room. That's where oh, nice. I. That's where I put. It's like a forward-facing bookshelf, so I can put my um my picture books that I read aloud, so that the kids can, you know, when they have a moment, they can go and grab it if they want to go back and read it again. Mm -hmm. And I just got some. I got some mo. Well, some very much needed things from my classroom. And if you donated, or even if you just reshared my post. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You have made uh, my classroom a, a better, more wonderful place. And hopefully my kids can find some books that they love and, and get excited about reading. Yeah. So, yes. All right. So um, other than that, I mean, school, going back to school has been the most of it. Just getting back into the routine. We took my daughter Maggie back to her apartment in Brooklyn, mm. going back to school. So I miss her. Um, my son is is in college. He's stay, he's at home now, so he's just commuting. So um, I'm I'm glad I'm glad to have him home. So that's about it. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. there's actually there's another really big thing. So Miss Sarah has been on a. She's been doing a challenge for herself, <laughs> and she it's has a been. Journey. It's okay. It's a journey. <laughs> And it has been a journey, it though. It really yeah. has. And it started back in April, mm -hmm. mid-April. Mm -hmm. And so she's been on um, trying to lose weight and get into shape. And you correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you have lost 47 pounds. 47 pounds. And yeah. she looks amazing. Thank you. I don't think she's... Will you get up and do a spin around? Probably not. No. <laughs> She looks really good. Just take my word for it. Really, really <laughs> good. And she's worked really hard. And I'm very proud of her. Thank and you. she she's on a certain plan. Um, I, if you're interested, you could probably message Sarah and she will let you know. A couple people have asked, and I don't mind sharing. Oh, okay. It's a it's a program called Optivia. Um, you know, it's it works for me. Um, you know, if you want to know more about it, I'd be glad to tell you. But you know, it's it's what I'm doing. So if you're curious, that's what I'm doing. It's very strict, I know that because all the time that we've been together over the summer, Sarah has not cheated once, not once. So um, you have to be really committed to do the plan. Absolutely. You yeah. And you have to be planful and prepared and, um, you know, it's a, it's a process, it's a program. So, yeah. but I just, well, thank you for giving I'm really me a shout proud out. of you, you and you look amazing. Thank you. And um, so I just, thank very you. proud of you. So 
I think that's exciting news that you should share. So Thank I'll you. share it for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how about you? Yeah. What about you? So, um, kind of backtracking, um, Sarah did a floss tube, uh, when I was gone, mm -hmm. um, Sarah and her husband went on a trip to, um, out West, out West. We to Thank you. Places. I couldn't remember all the places. Um, and then my husband and I, we went on a river cruise. Um, it was our first river cruise, and we went on the Danube, a Danube River cruise. Um, and so we flew over to. Um, we started in Budapest, and it was a, what was it, a ten day cruise. Uh, wow, yeah. Can't remember how long, but we we stayed a couple of days in Budapest and kind of toured toured Budapest, and then. Um, on the cruise, we went through, um, we went to Slovakia and Austria and then Germany. And then we stayed a couple days and toured through Germany and went to some different cities in Germany. So um, it was a wonderful trip. Yeah. Um, a river cruise is very different than like a cruise ship cruise. We, we, we had a very bad experience on our honeymoon on a cruise ship. Mm. And we're not interested in going back on a cruise ship. But this was nice. Um, it wasn't sold out. There's a maximum of like 120 people that could be on the ship, but there were only 90. Okay. And um, it worked like clockwork, and um, it was it was great. So we had a really good time. So and the pictures were beautiful. Oh, I did share some. I don't think I shared any pictures you should um, put them on, on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. yeah, I did a little that. bit on Facebook, but I don't mm -hmm. think I did on Instagram. So, um, but we. Um, it's our 29th wedding anniversary. We've been married 29 years. Um, that's really not why we went on the cruise, but um, you know, we had to celebrate something, right? right. And um, <laughs> and then it was the first time we've been on a trip without our kids. We did not take the kids. It's not really a kid kind of trip. I don't even think kids are alive. I think you have to be 21 even to mm -hmm. to be on a river cruise boat. Darn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Sometimes so, we need time away. Yeah, There's it was nothing wrong with that. Right. It was it was really nice. I I did feel bad because I I didn't really think about how my kids would feel like with us leaving. Like I thought they'd be like You're just thinking about hooray. yourself, right? Right. And so my mom came and um so there was a little bit of anxiety from yeah. my kids about sure. us being gone and just for the fact that we were you know, overseas. And so we made sure we had, um, you know, like an overseas telephone plan and, sure. you know, they could reach us and, but uneventful, no, no, no accidents, no nothing. So, um, yeah, as much as we think our kids don't want us around, they actually do. Yeah, I know they do. It's, it's surprising. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. So, but, um, it was really fun. Um, I didn't buy much. There's a lot of, of, of little things, but I did want to show this one thing. I bought this in Regensburg, Germany, and Regensburg is, is an adorable town, um, very picturesque, and it's um, a Bavarian village, and so um, just all those scenes that you see of Bavarian houses, this is exactly what it looked like, and the cobblestone streets, and so they have this shop, um, and they're known for their Christmas shops. They have these enormous Christmas shops full of every possible Christmas thing that you could want every every ornament every color every size all kinds of stuff um but I loved this let's so see cute. it's a little it's they're, they're German they're German little German design um but I loved it too because it folds up um, actually people would use this like as a bread basket but I'm going to use it as a stitching basket yeah so um Don't put bread in that yeah, I'm like, I'm not gonna put bread in this. So it's a little, it's a little big, but you know, if I've got several things, then yeah, yeah I can use it. So I was just gonna share that. I love like that. But yeah, so it was really fun. We had we had a great time. Um, and then we came home, and it was bang. Um, we got home about two thirty a.m. and I was up the next morning, um, driving my mom to the airport by nine thirty a.m. And then um, my daughter is a senior this year. I know, I can't believe it. Um, <laughs> my son is a freshman. And so one of the senior rituals that they get to do is they can paint their own parking space. And so um, I went from driving my mom to the airport to driving back to my house and then picking up my daughter. Um, while we were gone, she'd gotten all the paint together. And so we went to the school and started painting her parking space. So we got there about 12.30, and it was like 98 degrees. <laughs> not not exaggerating, it was so hot. And um, 
the they they have like two parking lots and they repave each parking lot like every other year so of course the parking lot that we were painting on wasn't paved so we had to paint you know a base coat like over her over the parking space and that was that was grueling it was it was so grueling. <laughs> it was really hard it was hot you know we had a roller and um and she did like a light paint color and so um that that took us like three hours it was really hot so you but I didn't think it would take that long to paint a parking spot I've never painted a parking spot no it, <laughs> no you wouldn't and you know what was very frustrating is one of her friends she was painting her parking space and her dad came and and you know I'm not a big person now my daughter is a lot she's very athletic and she's a lot she's taller tall, and, yeah. yeah and she's very strong and um and but her friend's dad came, he was like six five, and literally he took two cans of paint and poured it on <laughs> the 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 asphalt and then just like vigorously rubbed it out. He was done in 30 minutes. And I mean Isabel was like, What is wrong with us? I'm like, I don't know, honey. You picked the wrong parent to help. So um Well now you'll know when your son is a senior. Yeah, yeah. So um yeah, Jim was at work, so there was there was no help coming. So um it was just Isabel and I, but we did, we got through it. Um but she had picked a um she picked a, a pattern and kind of made it from um something that she saw on Pinterest. And so I'm not artistic and um and Isabel really isn't artistic and in it, um, you know, they put their name on it and they put their year that they're graduating and um, and so she wanted her name done in cursive. Well, Sarah's son, Jude, um, if you recall, he did our little, um, we had some little plus stitchy tags, friends, yeah. plus tags. Mm -hmm. And so I and asked logo. him, it, yes, yes, yes. It's our logo. Yeah. Um, and I asked him if he wouldn't mind, um, coming and like tracing. Cause what you do is you paint your base and then a lot of people, you know, they'll just freehand it. Um, but we didn't feel comfortable, especially with the cursive letters. Um, but you can use chalk and then just kind of write, you know, do it in chalk and then just mm -hmm. paint around it. So Jude was so nice and um, came and I mean, it was amazing. So we have this giant parking space and literally he takes, takes the can of paint and takes the paintbrush and just sits down and then starts writing her name. And like when he's done, it's perfectly centered. Like there's... The perfect amount of space on the left and perfect amount of space I on the right for her name. I mean, it was it was perfect and just you know the right size for the parking space. And, and I didn't even know he knew how to write in cursive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he said, I know that was funny because he said, "Well, I haven't written in cursive since like second grade." And you're like, "Oh God!" <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, but it turned out so cute. Sarah's gonna put a picture in. Sorry. And um, yeah, I'll put a picture. Yeah, in so she'll see she'll it. put a picture in, and um, and then and then he stayed and helped us paint. She has like some flowers and some vines on it, and he stayed and helped us paint. And then um, you know, then of course my husband showed up. You know, it was. We were done, was done yeah. and um, and, and then, then we um, then we went to Mexican together, and Jude came with us, and so it was it was really nice. We've we've used his talents quite a bit, so um, but it turned out really cute. It was it I'm was glad fun. It turned out well, yeah, and I'm glad we got it done in that day, yes. and we weren't going back. So, yes. um, cool. and so yeah, so um, so yeah, so lots of stuff with being a senior, mm -hmm. lots yeah. of new stuff, college stuff. Uh, we've been hit very hard with that. Um, yeah, senior year is busy. Yes. Busy. And you don't realize it's busy at the start of the game. Yes. Like it is. Yeah, not just at the end of the year. Right. No. And um, I thought I, I mean, I listened to lectures online from, you know, applying to colleges and all these things. And um, there's a lot that I did not know. So I'm still learning. Um, so it's it's a process, mm -hmm. um, but um, my son started freshman as a freshman, so he's he's in a new. They have a freshman school, um, and then they have the high school, which is ten through twelve. So he's um, at a new school with another. So like two yeah. middle schools come together. So there's all these new people, and um, but he seems to be doing okay. And um, hockey started again and so he's he's um he's playing hockey he's on um you said he's playing varsity right he is he's on a varsity he doesn't play for our school the school doesn't have it but he's on a, a varsity team and so he was having some anxiety about um he's 14 and um you know this is this is like the biggest age 
space, I think, for, uh -huh. for hockey. So he can play with kids all the way up to 18. That's um, a lot, yeah. And so he was a little nervous about older kids yeah, and, yeah. but he's he's a really tall kid himself and he is um so but he's doing he's doing fine and um so it was funny the first day um the coach picked him like the minute practice started and he had to go in the center and lead everybody in the stretching exercises and That's awesome um yeah my husband was was there and he videotaped it and so um so they've been practicing some different stretches so he's a little bit more prepared next time <laughs> So, but I think that really helped his confidence Absolutely, to, yeah. you know, be able to do that. So. That's cool. Yeah. So that's about it. I'm, yeah. Well, yeah. I know, I know since you've been back and since I've been back, we've done a couple of little stitchy things. I went to the, um, the summer stitch days. Keepsake. Yeah. Keepsakes always has a summer stitch day, um, in the summer. <laughs> they do. Um, the, yeah. It's the two. Yeah. They usually do the two last weekends of july yeah like a so saturday two, and a yeah, saturday two saturdays so unfortunately you i know gone, I, so. I missed it last year too I was you out did of town. you were out of town yeah yeah so i went it's a small you know if you've been to stitch con obviously that's huge these summer stitch days are way smaller i think maybe there was 40 people yeah i don't think it's more than like no 40, 40 so, or 50 and 60 it's, it's just a bunch of us in a room stitching and it was awesome they provide lunch for you yeah. and mm -hmm. it's like it's just a more low-key absolutely it's just yeah. fun to get together with people and just sit and stitch with other people who love stitching I so I, I did that that was fun you, you went, went to both right I did yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah 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 now you went to a retreat recently oh I did I did I did go um just a couple weekends ago I went to a retreat in Elizabethtown Kentucky and it was a one-day retreat Stacy Nash was there and um it was um it was really fun. Um, it was a little further than we thought. So mm -hmm. we we ended up going Friday night. I went with, with um, actually there were a whole bunch of people from Keepsake Shop that were going. We had no idea that there were that many Cincinnati people going. Yeah, and Keepsakes, if you're new here, is our Sorry. local LNS. Um, we're in Southern Ohio. It's in Sharon, Sharonville, Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's some of the gals that worked at Keepsakes were there. And then some of the regular customers that come into Keepsakes were there. And um, so it's funny. We, you know, drove almost three hours to, to see hang out from with people Cincinnati. Used to yeah. yeah. But there were people from, you know, it was yeah. more local people, I think. Or, mm -hmm. you know, there's one person from Illinois. But um, but it was really fun. So Stacy Nash was there. And honestly, I have never stitched a Stacy Nash. Neither have I. Um, um pattern, pattern. Yeah. yeah and, and they're adorable i they just are one. they are and she set up a whole trunk show and you know what i really liked about her stuff she had really unique finishing ideas just um you know like a um like a a needle roll i don't know if i'm saying that right yeah, but I think so yeah where it's like you've stitched it but then it rolls up and mm -hmm. you have your needles in it or you have like your other supplies in it and um just like different kind of like pin cushions mm -hmm. and little boxes and um so she just had a lot of really good ideas for different types of finishing yeah. um and plus her stuff was really cute it yeah. was really cute and she brought a bunch of patterns yeah, so what, do you, what do you got there yeah First so all, show your bag oh i know so okay so susan um, Susan Coates works at Keepsakes. She <laughs> is, um, she works there and she is the sweetest lady you and will ever so meet. So talented. She is super sweet and she um, does all kinds of stuff. She, she actually, if you need a chart converted, um, like let's say it's all fancy floss and you want it DMC, she does great with that and she's mm -hmm. good at changing colors and, um, but she's a great lady, but she, unbeknownst to me or I think anybody that was out there teaching me these cute little bags I don't know if that's going to be backwards but I don't um, think it will be now yeah but she made that so it's a stitching fun Stacy Nash and she got a cricket and so she did those for it was like not the whole retreat but just like the Cincinnati gals mm -hmm. that were there that's really nice yeah and she had and she her Instagram she has a sticker on here I'll yeah. just read what it says to you her Instagram is x x stitch fancies mm -hmm. um and she makes bags and stuff she's kind of um she's not doing that as much anymore because she's doing finishing for keepsakes um and so it's really nice when i'm in there if i catch susan in there and i get to see some of the finishes yeah. so um she does beautiful work mm -hmm. um so that was really nice so she she gave us this cute little bag yes so we got a project from stacy nash um i thought it was adorable it's a pin keep and it's a front and then a back 
That's awesome. Yeah, and so I actually, Sarah, you would not believe it, but I actually stitched. We got everything that it needs, and so I actually stitched. Um, we had a group of us, we all kind of started on the same project. So I actually stitched a little bit of this, which is the bottom of like a, a little basket. So we have enough room to do four on here, and then you just, um, there's some ribbon and you know, you kind of put it together. It gave you all the finishing supplies. I think there's That's like awesome. the, whatever that. The batting. The batting, yeah. thank you. Mm -hmm. um, and of course there's some people that went and they've already, theirs is already finished. They already stitched Who, our the friend whole Holly? Thing. Yeah, our friend Holly finished it. And I think another She's a lady. beast. Yeah, she is, so. A stitching beast. A stitching beast is right. So, and she has beautiful stitching. She she is a beautiful yes. stitcher, but she is, she gets it done. Yes, so. She um, and then I just wanted to say too, um, oh, yeah. I know I, I'm going to have to speed up here because we're going to be here like 10 hours. <laughs> so sorry. I'm a super talker today. Um, so for those of you that were at StitchCon, this is just not for StitchCon people, but, um, if you were at StitchCon, they had in the annex, they had these little, um, these little ruler boxes. Give me hold Sorry. On. Yeah. Um, these little ruler boxes. And so. Um, I, Sarah and I bought some of the boxes. Um, yeah, we, they only had little ones. But by the time we got to them, so we got the little ones. Um, but you could order this size, and mm -hmm. actually in this part, and I'm actually stitching the pattern, so I'll show it later. There's a StitchCon 2022 pattern that like somebody laid in here. But it you, fits perfectly. Yeah, but you could use this like if you're stitching something, you know, your stitch stuff here, and then your supplies here. Um, but the gal that her husband makes these, um, she was there and she had some things set up and she had some of these. And so um, I had ordered this big one, which was at Keepsakes, but I did get this small one um, because I it was sold out at, at StitchCon. Um, but I just wanted to say, if you want any of these, um, they also had like little pencil pencil cases and also these little boxes, like a business card holder, and then another box that was like smaller that had a little lid. Mm -hmm. So there's a bunch of them at Keepsakes. So um, you can call Keepsakes. Right, because these, these, you can't get these online, correct? You can't, they do not sell them online, okay. yes. I asked her, um, like I got her card, but she, she is actually a finisher and her husband makes these. Mm -hmm. And so it was like a special order he did for StitchCon and then so many people wanted them. Yeah, that they're very popular. Keepsakes ordered more and now, and so they have a bunch of these in so yeah they are really fun and I've seen like um, hands-on design has done some yes uh -huh. um, you know like workshops and she'll put like a uh -huh. one of her finishes yeah like the uh, the pin cushion yeah, ones yeah. or whatever in that so yeah, so if you guys are interested just call keepsakes and ask about the roller boxes and, and what sizes and, and, yeah, yeah. yeah so okay, cool all right okay let's move on <laughs> Moving on. Okay, well, I'll have to talk Yeah, about. sorry. I'm, okay. I'm going on and on here. Well, before we get into any more stitchy stuff, I mean, it's all stitchy stuff, but yeah. we had some questions. We had a lot of questions in the comments, and there were a lot of comments. Thank you so much. I, I'm trying to keep up with them. I know, and I wanted to say I've been so far behind with that, and I went through. You're busy. And, um, but I went through and read the comments, and you know, you guys say the nicest things. It's just really complimentary. It's really, it's. It's fun to read through the comments, it so is. we I appreciate that, and mm -hmm. it's nice that you watch us, and you know, so. I know, right? Yeah, it is. It's fun. So yeah. I love that people ask questions. So yeah, we have a lot of questions. Maybe, maybe we just go through a couple of them. Okay. We had been talking about maybe like doing like a Q and A type of thing. So how about we do a few of them now? And okay, if we have time at the end, we'll get to some of them, or maybe we'll save them for the next video because we have a lot of stuff to Perfect. show. Perfect. I know we do. To show. We do. Um, a few people have asked me about my um, color conversion for Let Love Rain. I'll show that when I show oh, my project. Gosh, it's gorgeous. Um, people are interested in knowing yeah. who um, yes. was the designer of the um, the, the small you received at StitchCon. I'll yes. put a picture here so you can remember what it looks yes, like. Yes, I'm sorry. I forgot to bring it over. Sarah's going to put a picture of okay. what my small was. And it is sold at, um, it's called the Craft Center of Fine Stitchery. And we will put the information um, below. Um, they do have a website, but you have to like call them to order 
Okay. It's like a warehouse, I think. Okay. Um, and I think they, I don't know the whole story. I think they shook out. One of my friends, actually Kim, knew exactly what, what it was. But it's a block series. I think it's called the block series. But we'll definitely put exactly what it is. Yeah. And there are different, um, so the one that I got was like a garden summer series. But there's one for Valentine's Day and Christmas so and seasonal. Halloween. And mm -hmm. yeah, they're, they're seasonal. And there are at least I saw there's like maybe 10 or so different ones and they're all on perforated paper and finished on a block mm -hmm. and um, they're really cute they're really cute mm -hmm. they're great little gifts yeah. and um, you know I think something that's quick quick to stitch so yeah. um, we'll find out a little bit more about and I'll put it that. in the description box yeah and if I ever say I'm gonna put something in the, in the description box and I forget just just tell me just remind me can I fix the camera really quick? We're like, yeah, I know. We're, angle. yeah we are left. Sorry. You're going to see me Sarah's, really close for a minute. Sarah's getting us all um, situated. Oh, You've got a tripod. We're like moving up in the world. Right. Learning how to edit. Get yeah. crazy. A um, couple more things. Um, oh, someone had asked. We were using that sea glass fabric for our... Um, we're doing oh. uh, a sow of the Meditation Garden by Jan Hicks, mm -hmm. and they were interested in knowing where we got it. We got it in the annex at StitchCon, but it's from Fortnite Fabrics, I believe. They have a website. They do. They um, do. And a lot of different vendors sell Fortnite Fabrics, so I'm sure you could easily find um, that. Just, but that's where we got it. We got it at StitchCon. And just know the name of it was Sea Spray. Sea Spray. Or sea... We'll put it in the Shoot. description box. What did you just say? I, well, I said sea glass, but I feel like maybe that's not right. I don't know. I'll double check. Sorry. sorry. Okay. Fine. Yeah. yeah we'll we check. Know but it's Fortnite Fabrics. It. It's something, see something, and it's a really pretty. And we'll put Fortnite Fabrics um, information in Yeah, the... we can put the website down. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cool. All right. Oh, people wanted to know, do we stitch in hand? Do we use a hoop? Do we use a Q-snap? That's a really good question. So... I would say all of the above. Mm -hmm. So when I started, I only stitched in a hoop. And what happened was I was doing like a project and it was like this big and I had a regular hoop. So the hoop was the size, the whole project could fit inside the hoop. And I would take the hoop off after I stitched. Mm -hmm. And you know, so I wouldn't store it with the hoop and then I would put it back on. And then Sarah and I got together to finish it and we were ironing it. And, you know, I was really putting the hoop in the same exact spot all mm, the time. Yeah. So I, I either needed to maybe use a smaller hoop and kind of move it around a little uh -huh. bit. Um, but because of that, I started doing smaller things. I started stitching in hand. Um, and um, now for me, if I have Sarah's better at this, because you use the sewing method. So I go in, I sometimes use the sewing method. I. I used to needlepoint and I did all the time needlepoint, mm -hmm. but for some reason with cross stitch, I, I don't as much The you know, the fibers are smaller and yeah, the fabric's a lot. More yeah. So I, I just haven't point. taken the time to really get, get the flow of that. Um, so I usually go, you know, in and under. And, um, so if I have something that's a big piece of fabric, then I need to put it on a Q snap. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think a lot of people do that. Yeah, because when it's a lot of fabric, that I've tried to roll it, and there's like those, um, they're they're like metal on the ends, and they like connect with a little rubber thing. Oh, the little thing. magnet things. Yeah, yeah okay. and I and I've tried to kind of roll it up and then put that on, but then they kind of slide off, or it's heavy, or you know I'm trying to go underneath, and then my fabric catches on me, and mm -hmm. so I kind of tend to do. Um, I like the Q snap, but. I know some people the Q snap. Um, it, it's bulky and it's yeah, on your hand. Yeah, and it, and, mm -hmm. and your hand cramps after a while. Mm -hmm. So um, you know some people use a stand and they can. There's like a two-handed method. Have you seen that? Yeah. Where you yeah you one hand is hands. underneath uh -huh. and um, looks like we're milking a cow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we're obscene, obscene things on here. Um, I tried that and it was a mess for me. Uh -huh. I, I I've just, never tried that, to was, be honest. Yeah, I just, it's yeah. not, not good for me. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I, I only stitch in hand now. Just What do you do with all the extra fabric, though? Well, you use the sewing method, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the time. So it doesn't really bother me because I'm, I'm really only stitching on, on the, top the top of the fabric. So the fabric just kind of lays. Yeah. Yeah. We do have more questions. I'm not going to do all of them, but somebody 
asked about your darling Winnie dog because oh. Daisy is on our videos because she's know. small. She's the one that's been scratching at the door. I'll, I'll go let her in. <laughs> <laughs> but people want to see Winnie. I know. You know, Winnie is, I love Winnie. Um, I ha I know I of told Sarah, I'm like, I don't. forgot my little Winnie. So Winnie is about 40 pounds. And um, so uh, he's not really a lap dog. Um, but we, I, so we decided I'm going to do a, video of Winnie and do some pictures of Winnie. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I'll try to plug it in here and I'll put it on our Instagram yeah, too. And, that way you can um, see Winnie. Yeah. But he is a mini golden doodle. So he is is a mi medium sized golden doodle. Mm -hmm. Um and he is the sweetest dog ever. Just yep. sweetest People dog. People want to see the real Winnie, not just the stuffed yeah, Winnie. Yeah, yeah. So we'll <laughs> we'll get the real Winnie. So yes. Maybe he'll do some tricks or something for you. You know, it's really funny. So we have a neighbor who has a golden doodle. That's right. And they got a golden doodle because they saw Winnie and they loved Winnie. And, and so they got a golden doodle. And her name is um, Lola. And Winnie and Lola are best friends. And they we we, so we swap. Yeah, so Lola comes over. And you they know, look like twins. They do. They look alike. You, you, you really have to put like a collar or like a bandana or something on them to like know who's who because it's hard to tell. And um, and we'll watch Lola. Like recently, they they had a wedding they went to, and so Lola was at our house for five days, and it's really fun. They love each other and they play together. And so Lola, Lola has a buggy that she rides in that's connected to a bike. <laughs> yeah, like you know your kids, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we wanted one, so we we found one that actually whoever owns Lola. Um, found one for us. It was a, it was a great deal, so we got it. So my daughter and um, Lola's Lola's owner, um, they've been trying to ride the bikes with with the dogs in the buggy. So the dogs can ride bikes. It's hysterical. <laughs> Winnie Winnie barks. Um, I think we're gonna need a video of that. Yeah, I do have a little clip of okay. it. He might be barking a lot. Um, That's what dogs do. But uh, but yeah, they've done some other things too. So we'll get we'll get more of Winnie. But thanks for asking about Winnie. Yeah, yeah. thank you. I'm going to put a hold on the rest of the okay. questions. We have so much I stitchy know. stuff to talk about. We do. We um, do. First off, we want to give a shout out to our friend Liz Matthews. We love you, Liz. Yes. I don't know if you guys saw her new expo releases. Uh, May. I See, know. See, that autumn cloche. Oh, I love it. My favorite thing in expo. The moment I saw it, I went and pre-ordered it. Yes. So. I did too. I ordered that. I ordered all the floss. Right. And the winter... Oh, winter garden winter garden yeah, yeah. i ordered that too yeah, yeah, yeah. um i ordered i ordered but i was shocked that she had so many expo releases because she just released new patterns like a month ago well and she also she's been so busy she also did if you all participated in the common yes. threaded stitcher she also did a freebie pattern for that um, and I started stitching it, so I, I'll show a little oh, progress on it. Yeah. yeah, so she's been really busy. But we, we love Liz. She's very supportive of our channel, and we are supportive of her because she's amazing. Yeah. So she was so sweet. She reached out to us and said, hey, would you like any of my new patterns? And I'm like, well, this, yes. was, this was actually some patterns that she released before Expo. Yeah, this was prior Yeah, so Expo. she's been releasing. Yeah. It was... Yeah. When was it? It was just like I said. It was like a like a, a month, month or so ago. ago. Yeah, yeah, maybe June or something. So, so um, you don't say no to a Liz Matthews. No, pattern. no. Yeah. So um, Sarah and I both we we independently both chose this pattern. I love it. And you said you're gonna stitch this one, right? I yeah. I think I'm gonna do the the um like the light colored fabric, and, and I'm doing that one. Yeah. So it'll be nice. Yes. And then we can we compare. So that was really nice. So she each gave us a copy of this. This is Wildflowers. Yes. And um, and then I uh, I was greedy. You were not greedy. I loved all of them. And I asked Liz for two and she indulged How me. How dare you? I know. But I thought this, I think this is so pretty. This that is, is forget really me not. pretty. And um, I just thought that was really pretty. So thank yes. you so much, Liz. Thank you, Liz. You thank guys, you, Liz. if you haven't gone and checked out her, her releases, her new stuff, her old stuff, it's all amazing. I'm sure I'm sure you guys have, have seen her stuff. Yeah. It's wonderful. And she has a floss tube that she does, and sometimes her mom joins her. Mm -hmm. Kathy Barrick is her mom. Her mom is amazing. And she, she put out some really, really pretty um, yes. releases. Actually, one that Liz Liz has an expo and one her mom has an expo were in um, the Kitten Stitchers um, um, box last year for Christmas. Oh. The... Um, 
advent box oh. that was really popular and sold out like really quickly. So wow, it's nice. Finally, we're getting yeah, sometimes some of those, those things release. come around, come back around. Yeah. So um, another cool thing that we wanted to talk about. Hopefully, you guys have seen it. Hands on design the costume party. Ah! It starts tomorrow. Oh my gosh, is tomorrow September 1st? <laughs> yes. Oh gosh, almighty, it is. Yes. So we are doing the costume party. We are. We're it's kind of like the, the cookie. Yeah, the cookie exchange. Yeah, it's like the cookie exchange that um, people did last year. We did it last year. Mm -hmm. It's Halloween. So, so, yeah, so there's a bunch of vendors. Do yes. you want to say? Do you mind real quick? I'm going to let Daisy in. No. Ignore me for a second. She's going to tell yeah. you. Yeah. I'll be right back. So, um, so you joined the, the costume party, and then you got a pattern, and then you got access to, um, there's like four different vendors that are putting things together. So, um, Sarah was really nice and ordered both of us the fabric. Um, it is. The uh, fabric by Stephanie? Yeah, Fabrics by Stephanie. Silver Mist. Silver Mist. We both got the 32 count. count. It's really pretty. It's um, it's like a bluish, purplish, grayish. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it. It's going to look amazing with the colors. Where's the floss colors? Yeah. Up so, the floss colors. Yeah. So here are the floss colors. How do I always end up being the Vanna? I'm not the very... <laughs> I've got my hands full. Yeah, you've got Daisy. So here are the floss colors. Those are going to look so pretty. Yes. So pretty. Um, and then um, that So Kelly participated again this year, and she made little floss floss cards, mm -hmm. um, floss drop cards. Yes. And Sarah Sarah had a good idea. We we got all new um, yeah. DMC so we can put them on our floss cards. Yeah. Um, but they're all different. They're really cute. I love them. They're really cute. And also, if you ordered the pattern, you could get you um, you could make your own. You got copies of these. Right, a PDF that you could print where you could print mm -hmm. and make your own but we just we bought them already too lazy. and um and it came with a, a needle minder too i know how cute which is really cute Adorable. showing that right yes. and um and then there is um oh. lady dot creates well we don't know all of it because the first release That's true. yeah is it's tomorrow. tomorrow so it's the first the third and the fifth and i oh, think that's fast. kind of how the costume party or was the, it that fast I think it was like, yeah, the like cookie exchange. the cookie exchange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so this is, you got trim from Lady Dot, so I'm not taking it out. So that's really fun. I know in the, um, the cookie exchange, you kind of picked what trim you wanted to use. Yeah. They sent you three different choices. So it looks like we have that. Maybe that'll this be, again, yeah. This time again. Um, and then there's perforated paper included. So I don't know what that's all about. Yeah. It's a mystery. We'll that's find out. That's a mystery. And then also we got the board. And this board, sorry, I'm going to take it out. Um, it's a wooden board. It's like a little yeah. bowl. Um, it's a tombstone. It's called yeah. a tombstone. Yeah. Um, it's from Homestead Needlework on Etsy. Yeah. So. Um, she sold out of them really fast. She kept having to restock them. Yeah, we had to, we had to keep we watching. We had to get in on the second wave. To yeah. make sure. So. so um, oh, can I show you? Yeah, um, show, oh, show us. Uh, here it is. I. I think you got this bag too. Oh yeah. I was gonna say for home. Oh but yeah, yeah, yeah. This no is the shit. bag I'm going to use for the costume party. I oh gosh, sorry. <laughs> I know we have a short cord here and I Yeah, sorry. I got it too. Yes, from it's so a, much to love. It's the Halloween whimsy fabric um from Teresa Kogut and it's so cute. Uh, amazing. So cute. And this is just the standard bag, I think. Yes. She's yeah. got like all these different sizes. Yeah, and I have the small one in there, but yeah. Got my hands full. It's the same. Yeah, same that'll be fun. That's a fun. That's yes. fun to put that in. Yes. So, so if you guys are doing the um the costume party sale, there oh, is a yeah. hashtag. It's hashtag the H O D costume party sale. Um, so if you're if you're participating, share your share your stuff. Use the hashtag so we can all we can all see what everybody's doing. Yeah, it should be really fun. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of fun with the cookie exchange yes, last year. Yes, we did. Yes. So um. And, and you don't have to finish it in those no, those three to. days. Um, and you don't have to use that fabric. You don't have to use those right, colors. You can right. do whatever you, you want. Can, you can buy the pattern and, you know, do however you want. But yeah. um, mm -hmm. but we bought we bought all the things. So, I like to buy all the things. Um, yeah, so that will yes. be really fun. Yes. I'm excited to get started with that. Yes. So another fun thing I wanted to talk about. Um, uh, a woman reached out to me recently. Her name's mm -hmm. Allison. Um, she's on Instagram as Mrs. AZ Family Zoo. And she reached out to me because um, she 
and her husband, they have an animal sanctuary. They take in um, animals who are sick or have special needs and they take care of them. They provide um, medical care, anything the animals need. Right now they have about 40 animals that they're taking care of. And here's the crazy thing, crazy in a good way. Um, the animals stay in their family. They don't adopt them out. So those animals have a forever family with mm -hmm. them. But as you can imagine, uh, it gets a little expensive to take care of all those animals. So um, during the pandemic, Allison had opened up an Etsy shop and um, she was selling some jewelry and, and using the money, the proceeds to um, support the animal sanctuary. And so she recently started designing cross stitch patterns. And so she's got four in her shop right now. They're super cute. Adorable. Super cute. Yes. Um, and so she reached out and said, hey, would you be interested in stitching my patterns? Could we do a giveaway? And I was like, yes, yes, please. So um, she did She did share a couple of patterns with us, which was very kind of her. Thank you, Allison. Thank you very but, much. But um, I wanted to share this one because uh, obviously I'm a dog lover. So is Jen. So I picked this one. It's called Wolf Squared. It's so cute. And look at her dogs. <laughs> Yes, one of them is a Chewini. Which is what Daisy is, uh, Yeah, right? so you know I was excited about that. Uh-huh. Yes, and I think the other one is a, yeah, the other one is a Chihuahua. So those are, those are her dogs. That is her, that is her pattern. So um, I would definitely encourage you guys, go check out her shop because her patterns are adorable. She's got a really cute Halloween one in the shop. Mm -hmm. um, she told me she's designing a Christmas one. And she lives oh. in Arizona, so she's she's including some Arizona wildlife in her pattern. I can't wait to see what that looks like. Um, but she wants to give away one of her patterns to you guys. That's very nice. Absolutely. So go take a look at her shop. And, um, you know, she's got jewelry in there. She's got the cross-stitch patterns. And she will give away one of those patterns to the winner. And so you'll get to choose which one that you want and she'll send the PDF to you via email. Yeah, so we need to say, like some people need to like make a comment and say, Zoo. Zoo, okay. Yeah, because her shop on Etsy is A-Z, the letters, Family Zoo. And I will put all of her information in the description box below. She has a she has um, a personal Instagram. Yes, yeah, she's got she's got one for the sanctuary. She's got email. She's got her Etsy shop. So we'll put all of that in there. Absolutely. So go um, take a look at her stuff. Um, and and if you can share it on Instagram so we yeah. can spread the news because we want to help animals. We want to support animals and we want to support our stitchy friends in our community. So if you're interested in winning one of Allison's patterns. Use the word zoo in your comment and we'll do a random comment picker. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Allison. Speaking of ram ran <laughs> speaking of random yeah, a lot of stuff. comment generators. I didn't forget. A long time ago I told you guys about uh, a whip that I inherited from somebody who inherited it from somebody else. And I wanted to allow someone to adopt it. We don't want to throw Can away. I hold it yes, ma'am. You're holding Daisy. We don't want to throw away anybody's beautiful. No, it's stitching. really pretty. But this person, she, a lot. she became, you know, she got older and she just couldn't see it very well anymore. And she wanted to make sure it went to a good home. Oh gosh, thank you. Oh my gosh, <laughs> thank you, Sarah. She's Louise. We're a mess today. It's fine. Um, it's so the really pattern pretty. was called um, English Cottage Sampler. And um, it was put out by Jan Lynn Cross Stitch, but somebody um, told me that that is a, oh gosh, what's the name? Teresa. Ter it starts with a K, it's not Kogut. Mm. Maybe it starts with a K, I don't know. The, the designer? The designer, yeah. Oh. Because on here it says design by just Cross Stitch. But somebody, oh, a Teresa Wensler, that's what it was. Oh, They okay. said it was a Teresa Wensler pattern. And I can see that because it looks just like um, her stuff. So I think it's, and it's from 1991. Yeah. There you go, yeah. Yeah, can I show the, yes, the front of the pattern? So we asked if anyone wanted to um, take this over and stitch and the rest of home. it. Yes. Yeah, so it's got a good and several start. several people did. So I asked you to put the word um, cottage in your comment and people did and I did the random comment generator and the person who gets to adopt this whip is 
Lynn Bloom. Yay! Thank you, Lynn Bloom. Um, Thank you, Lynn yeah, Bloom. Either message, either uh, message us on our Instagram, any of our Instagrams. I'll put all of our Instagrams below. We have one for our channel, mine and hers, or you can email me at stitchysarahreads.gmail. Uh, at at gmail.com. At gmail.com. <laughs> oh, I worked today. My brain is yes. not working. Just I don't, don't put I don't know your, your excuses. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't put Just, your private information like down yeah, below. Yeah, no, Just, no, no. Like send it, send it through a message and or something, and, and we'll get that out. And to we'll you. mail it to you. But I'm so glad that yes, we took it over. It's very pretty. It's so beautiful. It'll be it'll be lovely once it's finished. Yes. So thank you, Lynn. We'll get that out to you, and and if you get get a chance to finish that, we'd love to see it. Yeah, it'd be great to see a picture of it. Yes. So moving right along, okay. um, we wanted to share a special thing that we're doing with our stitchy friends. I got this idea from watching um, Stephanie on Just Keep Stitching. Um, I guess it was like a year or so ago. Her and her mom with their friends, they call themselves the Crock-Pot Crew, they did a round robin. They chose a pattern that meant something to all of them. And they each, um, they basically like, they all had their, they started with their own, right? They chose their own fabric. They chose their own color choices. And then they sent it around for every person to stitch on it. That way, when they got it back, they got a piece that had been stitched on by all of their friends. And I was like, I want to do that. She so. also did that. Steph also did that with her best friend, Kia. Yes. Um, of Kia B and also Liz Matthews. They That's did a, so um, I can't remember the name of the pattern, but it were, was um, these three Cross stitch ladies. Oh, I can't remember the name of the pattern, but they they did the same kind That's of awesome. thing. Yeah. So. If you hear sounds, Daisy's chewing her nails. So <laughs> I don't know. she needs she needs a, a nail. She has a, nail a bad cut. she has a bad habit of doing that. Um. So we chose. Do you have the pattern handy or I have it? No, I didn't bring it. That's right. I have it here. So, oh, it's right here. So um, together with our stitchy friends. We chose this pattern. It's Heartstring Samplery um, Love Letter to the Cross Stitch Nation. And, and it's it's yeah. fairly new. It came yeah. out in the fall. Uh, no, well, it was actually, um, last, Needlework. Uh, last fall. What's the one in the spring? Not Expo. Oh, no, no, no. Market. No. Yeah, because we, right, because it was at, um, I, we could sign up to get it at Culture Station. Oh, that was in April. Yeah, so it was... It was market. It yeah. was market. Yeah. So it's only a couple months old or so, a couple months out. Yeah. I guess. We're going to stitch. We're starting yeah. it tomorrow. Tomorrow's our first day of starting it. So we're each going to stitch the first hand on our own fabric. And then we're mailing it off to the next person on the list. So when we get it back, it's going to be all the stitching is going to be finished. And then we can FFO it how we choose. And, um, can I show you the fabric I chose? I just got oh it Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Now I have to rethink mine. Well, so then what we did too is because we have all different stitchers in our group. Yes. And so we said, what is, because not everybody is comfortable to stitch on every every count of fabric. Right. So the the highest, I don't know how to say yeah. that right, yeah. um, number of fabric. So we chose a 28 count fabric. Right. That way everybody could feel comfortable stitching on it. We don't want to send something that someone's going to struggle with or not want to stitch. So this I got, oh, I love it. Oh, look at that. So That's it's really XQ pretty. Design, 28 count linen, and it's called Midnight Ride. Check that out. Love it. So I do too. It's really cute. I just, I love That's XQ Design fabric. It's one of my very favorite fabric dyers. Yeah. So yeah, we're excited to do that. We'll show, we'll show, we'll keep you updated on how it's yeah. going. Yeah. So. Yeah, we we pat we all have a month, so we have a month to stitch one hand, and then it'll pass. Yeah, pass all, to the next person. All of our stitchy friends, we have like a, a a group of friends. We have lots of stitchy friends, but our our like group, um, you know, we don't all live in the same area. Several of us do live in Ohio, but one of our friends lives in Maryland. One lives in Michigan. One lives in Georgia. So we just thought it was a really fun thing to just connect us all together over the miles. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited, I'm excited about that. to get started too. But yeah, I realize it's yes, we have a lot starting tomorrow. Yes. So, without further ado, 49 minutes into the video. Oh my gosh! How about we show some stitching? Well, I think do oh. we have one more oh. thing to show? <laughs> we made a list. We have a oh lot of gosh. things. 
you how wanna, about you want to wait? Do you want to show that after after, okay. after finishes and or yeah finishes yeah. and whips? Well, that's because Sarah has some. Yeah, surprise, surprise. <laughs> so sorry, I'm reaching so far. Um, I had started this last fall. It is Autumnal Sampler by Little Robin Designs. It was one of my favorite expo releases last year. I couldn't wait to stitch it. And I started it and I got frustrated because the moon wasn't turning out how I liked it. So I had to walk away from it a little bit. And then when I came back, I was like, I actually do like it. I actually love it. I finished it finally, just in time for the fall it's season. Beautiful. I love it. This is, I believe it's a 32 count. I dyed this fabric myself. Oh, yes, because I wanted it to look like a, a, a tumultuous, yeah, like a almost stormy, like right before yeah. the storm. You could see the wind is blowing and the leaves are falling, and it turned out perfect. It looks beautiful. beautiful. And the moon looks great. I love it. Yeah, I was okay. So didn't you choose a different color for the moon? Well, I, I oh, forget what it's, it's called. For. It's all swirly. Yeah, I forget what it called it's for, swirly. but it wasn't working for me. Maybe it was my fabric because my fabric looks different than this. So I wanted it to be more swirly, and I did. I did stitch with a variegated floss, and I did stitch in a circular motion. It is a little swirly if you look at it. I was just expecting more swirly, but you know, I think now that I've walked away from it and I'm. Uh, you know, I took a second look at it. I lo I love it. It's beautiful. I do. So now too. I just have to figure out how I want to finish it. Yeah, it's what too are big you for thinking? a pillow. I think. Are you gonna frame it? Maybe. Mm, I think I want something more special than a frame. So I don't know. Mm. I'm looking for that perfect. Maybe you can find something idea. that you can. Yeah. Put it on. Yeah. So I'm just I'm thinking about how I want to finish that. But I do have. Since I saw you guys, it's been a new start. Of. Oh. Do we have to Not up there. No, oh, ma okay. I got it right over here. Oh, okay. It was a new start. It was a finish. It was an FFO. So you get to see it in its the final The whole form. shebang. The whole shebang. I stitched. That was, this is called The Ride, I think, or The, the Flight. The, the flight. flight. Excuse me, yes. By Not Forgotten Farm. Look at so that. so cute. Yes. I love that. I'm going to take it home with yeah. me. Um, oh, I stitched this on 40 count. Um... Ele Fox and Rabbit Elephant Run that I had in my stash. And I did change a couple of the colors. The witch's dress was more of like a gold color. So I wanted her to be purple. I love the purple. Yes. I I think it was like 156 or 153. It was a 150 something. And I did change the colors. I did change the color of the spool because um it was just the color that was charted was fading into my well, fabric. Well, and you did it like a, like you changed the stitching. So it oh, was yeah, like I a did, spool. Yeah. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it, but it's a like a, I did straight stitches. I guess you call that straight stitches yeah. instead of like X's. But so. it looks like it's wound around yeah. the spool. So I'm all into the Rick Rack trim right now. Loving it. And I just, I just had this like orange and white spotty fabric in my stash. And so got my little Halloween finish. So yeah, that's, I'm super I have cute. another finish, but it goes along with one of my whips. I'll show it later. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You've seen it. Yeah, I, you know, I meant to bring, um, I forgot, it. I brought so much stuff over here, um, but I found this um, bowl, this wooden bowl at Hobby Lobby. Like a dough bowl? Yeah, well, like the dough bowls are like oblong yeah. usually, but this is like a round bowl, but it's shallow oh, okay. and it's meant, and it would look really cute to put, put your stuff in it. Mm. And I, I'm sorry, I forgot it. Um, and you I were bringing saw, it to give to me. I, <laughs> I was bringing it to show. Oh, okay. Um, but um, but I saw someone. Um, um, they actually were painting it with chalk paint. They were painting it white, mm. kind of like a rustic. That, I guess. That's cool. Yeah, and I was and I forgot the bowl, but um, but I, I just thought that was a cute idea instead of like an oblong yeah. or but because it's hard to find a bowl that's not. Yeah. deep yeah because you want your yeah. stuff to show um but cool. she was painting it that color because it's like a wooden color and her she was putting it on her table and her table's wooden so yeah. she's like well it's you not want some gonna contrast, yeah. show up yeah so so that's the finishes sorry that was so short but we got whips yeah we got whips i got, I got whips. whips yep you yep. want to talk about your whips uh i can talk about my whips okay. um i was gonna show really quick I just ignore me i have to drink this I'm just it's part I'm of her here. it's part of her regimen of her yeah her special plant. We don't want you to be off your plant. No, so just ignore all. me. Look at her. Um, I just wanted to show this really quick. Um, Primrose Cottage has done this um, for different seasons. Um, they did a 4th of July one, and they, they do like a rickrack pack. 
And I think it's so cute. Just because yes. we're talking about finishes, I wanted oh, yeah. to show it. So there's, I, I don't even know how many are in here. But, a lot. Um, they also have like a regular one um, that, and you've been using most of the, uh, yeah, the Yeah, a lot of the Rick Rack I'm using is from that yeah. pack. Yeah. Um, and then I also bought from them, um, I didn't take it out of the bag. These are Teresa Koga. Um, I'm not sure if they're fat, fat quarters or what. Um, but of this Stitchy Witch, um, it's eight pieces. Oh, it doesn't say. It just says Whimsy Bundle. But um, but I just got that for finishing. Cute. And, um, and the other thing that I've been seeing a lot of, so some of you may follow or know of the Housewives, Stitching with the Housewives, Chelsea and Priscilla. You might know them. Yeah, uh, but they do, they have their own fabric that they do. Yeah. And they do Chelsea's Checks and Priscilla's. Plaids. Plaids, thank you. And so I ordered some from Fat Quarter. Um, great for finishing. Yeah, just great for finishing. They have them in all different colors. Um, and this is all wrapped up, but there's turquoise and orange and green in here. Cute. Um, and um, so, yeah, just trying to find some fun stuff for, for finishes. Yes. So I just wanted to show those. But, yeah, you want to do, um, we're doing whips? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Am I starting? Sorry, I've got. Got all my stuff behind me. Well, when you don't film for like two months. <laughs> we have a lot of stuff. <laughs> it kind of adds up. We have a lot of stuff. Sorry, this is going to be a super long episode. Maybe like take us in pieces. Maybe just watch yes. part and turn us off and take a break from us for a while. So to be honest, I really do not have a lot of stitching. I did not stitch for about a month and a half. Mm -hmm. I did not stitch the entire month of July. You know, well, we you were, were stitching gone. on vacation. You were enjoying yourself. Yes, and um, then I got back and, you know, hit the ground running, parking space yeah. and all these other things. So I just have a little bit of progress. Um, I I joined um, Teresa Kogut's Patreon, and I know people have been talking about it a lot, yeah. and, um, and we are allowed to show things from her Patreon. Oh, good. So there are different tiers um, of, of what you can join. I actually joined... Um, for a year and then I got a discount, like a 15% discount, I think. If you, um, if you did a year. If you join us a year. Mm -hmm. um, so she's doing, it's a mystery sale and it's called a Strawberry Manor Mystery. And this is, her goal is to release this to the public in, um, what is that, X or March? Of, Mar market? Market, which is March of 2023. So she's releasing it in pieces. So this is, this is where uh, the release is at. This. The so like half top, yeah, halfway, yeah, um, and it's really cute. It's super cute, and I did want to stitch it. We're already in month three. I'm, I'm just starting. So again, I don't have a lot of progress. So I just started the border. Pretty. What fabric is that? Yeah. Um. This is um, this is latte by Picture This Plus, and or Fiber and Web. I think it's Fiber and Web. Fiber and Web, and I really like it. It's beautiful. It is. It's really pretty. It was hard for me to, you know, figure that out with the colors. Um, lots of lots of reds in here. It's all DMC. You know, she does a lot of her stuff in DMC. Yeah. And, and one thing um, I have noticed, like um, some of her books that she'll put out with the patterns. Sometimes the pictures, she'll have model stitchers do the pictures, and sometimes they will change some of the. Oh, okay. Um, they will change some of the the floss, so okay. sometimes it looks different. But um, I actually decided to do the same on this house. I thought the house was really fun, and so I chose um, cherry cobbler. Oh. So I'm gonna do. I wanted a little That's bit of beautiful. variegation. Yeah. So I'm gonna especially because the house that. is so big. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You see it, you know, a lot with the yeah. It's a prominent stitch. part of the design. So very cool. Yeah. So I just got started with that, but I'm enjoying the fun the fun border. Um, and then I mentioned earlier, I, oops, sorry here, trying to keep organized. Yeah, you don't want to get disorganized. Yes. I know I have all these project bags and then I'm using plastic. It's, <laughs> don't ask, it's a mess. So I talked about this earlier. I wasn't going to say anything. Yeah, I know. I, I, I was it's thinking It's very it. pathetic right now. But um, <laughs> I talked about this earlier. This is the one that Liz did. Um, it's Common Thread Stitcher. Um, it's called Common Thread. I, I don't, 
it's a freebie, but it's a I, freebie. Yes. I don't know if I can, sh I don't know how that works with showing it because you have to, well, she showed the picture on um, Instagram. Yeah. So it was on everybody's Instagram it. post yeah. and it's under the, the, if you go on Instagram, common threaded stitcher is the Instagram name Yeah. and there's a link on there and you can download and get the pattern on right. that link. And if the, I know um, the link wasn't working for everybody, just message um, the the facilitator of that group and she'll send it to you. Yeah, yeah, it's work. It, I got on there the other day and it was working again. Oh, good. So okay, good. yeah, so I just got started, but I think it's so cute. There's only four colors um, and it's just fun. Yeah, this is um, um, not milk and honey, um, cream and sugar <laughs> by Fiber on a Whim, right? Fiber on a Whim. I, um, and you can choose yeah. whatever I'm using the called for flosses. Beautiful. Um, but yeah, just, just, um, and I'm doing mine on 40 count. I think, I think, I think it calls for 40 count. It doesn't mm -hmm. give you like a floss color or anything, but sure. I thought that was fun. Um, and I saw this at, um, um, we went to, um, Stitch Away, which is another retreat that Keepsakes does in the winter. In Cincinnati, and I saw this design. This is by Little Robin. Oh, the one I did the Halloween design. Yeah. Thing. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And this is um, this sold out right away, and she just got more of them in, in the it. shop. It is really cute. It says, "When the queen is happy, there is peace in the kingdom." Right. And that is very true. Very yeah. true. So I started it, but you know, when I was getting, and I did put it in a Q snap. No, I did not put it in a Q snap. I did not. But I did a top start, a top left start. Mm -hmm. But you know, mm -hmm. when I'm looking at it, doesn't that look a little too far down? Maybe it's supposed to be like this. I mean, I guess it depends on how big you want your margins. It does seem to be down. Kind yeah, of like, I think I was trying to do will three you have inches. Enough space? Well, I don't know. That's okay, that's going to be something I'm going to ask Sarah after. But it does look like it's maybe uh, too low. Well, as long as you have enough space, we can measure and figure that out. I'm not and sure. Sort of um, but I did. I'm proud of myself. What floss I, is that? I know. I never change floss, and I think it ha um, it calls for twisted Turkish red. Ah. And this is, um, I wanted a red red. This is ribbon red. Oh, classic color works. Yeah, and I just That's think beautiful. it's really pretty. Yes, that really pops on there. And, um, and this is... Um, what fabric is this? This is, oh crap. I think this, I think this is 40 count um, lamb's wool, lamb's, is that right? Lamb's wool? I don't know. Did you write it down? Somewhere. Oh yeah, lamb's X2 wool. X2 design, design. Yeah, extra design lamb's wool. There you so go. Um, yeah, so I made a little start, but I think, I think I better, Let's, let's measure it before Relook we look at that. Yeah, yeah, I think it's down a little too, oh, thank you, a little too far. So, again, excuse all these plastic bags. Um, this is a pattern I've wanted to start for a while. You started it. I, oh, yeah. This is by the Blue Flower, and um, I I was lucky and got this um, a little, a couple weeks before everybody uh -huh. else got it because I was at Quilter Station, and um Janine was there and she had these patterns. So I Oh Janine, are you guys on a first name basis now? No, but you know, I like I like to You like to you don't like hi, to Janine. rub it in. Hi. My my favorite designer. You're like, oh Janine. So I am using a Q snap <laughs> and I've I've gotten so much done. So I wanted to show it off. Wow. <laughs> Not sure what part of the chart that is. Well, I started in the middle. <laughs> it's a middle start, everyone. So a start to start, right? Right. So you got more done on it than I do. So yeah. So I'm excited. It's um. I just think it's really cute. Yes. So we'll we'll see how far I get. You know, now Expo and all the new releases that are oh, coming out with Expo gosh. is insane. Um. And I I don't think I showed this. There's a whole sale that is going on. I mean, people are probably already finished. And this is another kind oh. of pathetic start. Um, but again, that board that I showed earlier, this is a pattern. Um, you can still buy this. Um, I, it's exclusive. I think it keepsakes. Yeah. Sue Hillis made it. Um, but this was at um, StitchCon this past year. And that big board that I showed that had the two sides, there were people that... The box, the tray. The tray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had finished it 
um, in the tray and it looked really cute. Yes. So I did start, I did a middle start and that's how far I got. <laughs> you can see. So I just did want to show I have been stitching. It's not much, but uh, but there was a sale. Chrissy, um, uh, finally, a farm fi girl. finally a farm girl was doing it, and a few people um, are. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and I think, and I was. They were starting. Um, maybe they were starting. I can't remember if they're starting in July or when the date was. But I kind of missed yeah, missed some of that. Um, and I know there's a. I know there's a hashtag. I'll, I'll try to look. That there up. is. There is. Yeah, we'll put okay. it in the in the bottom. But actually, and just a quick note. This is a painted leaf bag. Yes. Just FYI, um, painted yep. leaf with the um, um, the black or the threads that bind. Thread, threads that bind. Blackbird. Blackbird threads that yes. bind the fabric. So. And if you're new here, Painted Leaf Co. is an Etsy shop. It's mm -hmm. my mom and my sister. They make beautiful bags. Little, I can't see if I'm showing that or not. Is that right? Yeah. Painted yeah. Leaf Co. Oh, it's a little like um, tape measure. They're on Instagram uh, and they have an Etsy shop. Oh, I, you were showing the tag. I was showing the, the charm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Like, it is a cute about? charm. Mm -hmm. She always does cute little charms. Yes, she does. Um, but they have an Etsy, um, an Etsy shop, and it's Painted Leaf Co. Painted Leaf, not the, but it's Painted Leaf Co. And yeah. same thing on Instagram, Painted Leaf Co. Go follow. Yeah, them. yeah. So um, one more thing, I did, I did, I have been doing well with this. Um, this is, oh, sorry, I got all my little stickers everywhere. Um, I'm in the Bird Crush Club with. Um, um, Lindy Stitches, and this is the April, I'm a little behind, this is the April Bird, Aww. which is the Black-Throated Gray Warbler, so um, and if any of you watch Sarah's Floss 2, I thought it was so hysterical that you knew the Stellar J from the Lindy Stitches Bird Club. That's awesome, though. Yeah, and the wife of the man who took the photograph oh, that the chart was based on was watching and she was like i'm cracking up that you knew what bird that yeah. was from my husband's picture that's so cool so so I here it is yeah so here it is oh how pretty yeah so i've got some stuff done sorry i didn't iron it for you guys um so yeah i'm coming along with it um and this is on i love this fabric this yeah. is a seraphim fabric and um it's 32 count finnegan or Finian. Finian, Finian, I'm sorry. I Finian. ordered that recently. <gasps> Did you? It's. A, I love the fabric. It's, it's beautiful. Really, it's a very pretty fabric. Yeah. How funny is that? Yeah. So, um, so I'm a little behind. Um, her most recent release uh, for August is. Um, I don't know the full name, but it's a woodpecker, and I love woodpeckers, and it's a beautiful design. So I'm really enjoying being in the Bird Crush Club. That's awesome. I am. Okay, so I have one more. And I was going to surprise Sarah and my plans just didn't work out. You know, I had all these plans, but I, I wanted to have a start and then finish and an FFO all at once. Um, but I didn't, I didn't make it. Um, so I will show you. So this is, um, so Shepherd's Bush has all these patterns. Can you see that pattern? It says scary. And then there's also where you can make, um, um, you know, like a, on, on regular cross stitch fabric, but these are bags. These are, um, they have, they're really big. I'll show you. Are they from Fat Quarter Shop? Uh, well, they're, they're, uh, Lori Holt. Okay. You might be able to get them on Fat okay. Quarter Shop. So I started. So cute. I know. Loved it. So I wanted to get it done and show Sarah and, you know. That's adorable. Yeah. So, um, so there's a whole bunch of patterns. I will show you them. I have them in my, in my mm -hmm. haul. Um, the one thing with this is that these, pa these are, um, they're not regular DMC. They're like oh. a pearl cotton okay. or a number five. So, so they got to be a little thicker and more sturdy yes. to be in the bag. Okay. Yes, because the holes are, I don't even know what count you would call this. But that's big. But I'm <laughs> using a, 20, a size 22 needle. Okay. And um, so it does tell you on the pattern. Um, and I did want to say Keepsakes got all of these in. There's, I think, five or six. I have all of them but one. Right, and that's where you got it, right? I did. I got keep, it at Keepsakes, keepsakes yes. And um, so they have the bags. They have, and I'll show you, they have a bunch of different colors. And they they just got in all of the different flosses. Um, and the scary bag, um, there's a scary bag, a stitch bag. Neither of these have any embellishments. 
um, but Just Another Button Company did embellishments. Um, they used embellishments from Just Another Button Company for like their other ones. These were like original ones that they started doing gotcha. and they didn't include embellishments. But look but, at that spider. I know, it's fun. <laughs> It's fun. So and you know, cute. it's a fast stitch. Yeah. So Barbara, who is at Keepsakes, she is awesome. She told me how to do this. So you find, you know, this the bags, you know, normally your bag is going to zip from left to right, right? So here's the tag. So you want to turn the bag upside down and you stitch from inside the bag like this. Was that hard? Well, at first I was like, okay, and what you do is you turn, the, I can't show you the pattern, but you turn the pattern upside down. Oh. So, you know, if your pattern's, you're stitching your pattern this way, you turn the pattern upside down, and then you're going to stitch, so you hold the pattern, and then you're going to stitch, you know, with the bag open. Make sure you, you know, have the tag on the right side mm -hmm. so you're zipping the right way. I wouldn't have even thought about that. Yeah, and then you you're stitching it upside down so at first i did i did this i did a middle start and then i just folded it um you know i just folded it up and then found my middle and then did you know marked the middle and the pattern yeah. um, and again i'm using size 22 needle um because you know you got to have a little thicker or yeah. wider right head of the needle or yeah. whatever they call yeah, that that pearl cotton is thick yeah and um and so at first when I did it and then I turned this back around and I was like, oh, that's not right. But it is, it is. So, uh, so yeah, so it just took like a minute or two to, to try adjust, to just yeah. figure out, yeah. you know, what I was doing. Then obviously you just keep your pattern upside down mm -hmm. and follow it. So, but that was a great tip that she gave me. I know there was, I saw somebody else, um, was stitching stitching this and they were like trying to scrunch up their bag and stitch so i know there's other ways you can stitch mm -hmm. um but that was that was just easy for me to know where i was oriented all the time i saw um jessica from sweetwater stitcher she's stitching those bags oh, i think she's doing she... the stitch one yeah oh okay or she did yeah the stitch yeah one. She might be done yeah so there are so um yeah so there are different there are different patterns so when we get to haul i'll show you oh, don't forget to put this in there oh thank you Thank you. Don't lose your gloss. Yeah. So I do know, I know you can get these patterns other places, but if you do want any of them, keepsakes, they just got, they just ordered them and got them in and, yeah. and they, they'll colors. ship anywhere. Yeah, they will. They will. All right. Okay. Is that That's it? it. That's it for my stitchy stuff. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about my whip. Okay. So, um, I've shown this before. I've been working on it. It is um, Scissor Sampler. I love this pattern. By Talon Emblem. I purchased that, I think, um, from Market. And so I'm stitching, I'm stitching mine on 20, excuse me, 40 count um, X2 Design in the color Rocky Mountain. Oh, I love this. This is a really pretty fabric. I, I think really it's perfect like for this. this fabric. There we go. That's where I'm at. I'm making good progress. Oh my gosh, look how much yes. you've gotten done. So, yeah. sorry, Daisy's on my lap. That's okay. Yes. Oh, that looks great, I'm Sarah. loving it. I just love the the bold colors, the bold yeah. outlines, like that flower there. I do too. I just think it's perfect. So, what do you, how are you going to finish that? Are you going to frame it? Do you mm, know? I don't know. Some people go into a project knowing how they're going yeah. to finish it. I don't. Yeah. I stitch it and then I figure it out. So, that's I the love kind of the colors. That looks great. I love this Thank fabric. You. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's really pretty. one of them. Um, oh, I've got my, um, I don't know if you showed this yet. i got my bag, my I Halloween Wednesday bag from Painted Leaf Co. Um, she just released, um, she just released some. Yes. Like literally, like yesterday or today, she just put some in the shop. I just. I think they're going in this evening. Or so maybe the they're time, going in this evening. By yeah. the time you see it, they'll have already been in the shop. Yeah, but, um, yeah. Yeah. If you follow their Instagram, she posts updates on the stories, so you can look there. Yeah. All right. So um, I, this is my finish and a whip here. Um, I've been working on Haunted by Luminous Fiber Arts. And I'm focusing on these little, these three ones here, not the bigger one. So I finished one, I'm halfway through the second and I wanna do all three. So. They look great. Thank you. I'm stitching this on Fox and Rabbit um, 
flannel flower. Oh, I like that. Yeah, too. 40 count. And here's what I've got. Oh, I so I've got love finish them. over here. And then I'm working on this one with the cat sitting on this like quilt square and you got the ghost and all the stuff there. So I can do little pillows. Um, no, I think I'm going to finish them like that. Like little, oh, like a little ornament. Yes, I think oh, I'm going to yeah. do that. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. So, yep, that's what I'm going to do. So Very nice. Yeah, these are really fun and easy to stitch. I, I like to pull those out when I just have a little bit of time to stitch. So, I got that. Um, oh, and you I don't know why, but I have, a few, I, have a few, I have a few projects in this bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anything else you're going to show? Yeah, well, there's one thing I haven't started, so I'll, I'll leave that. But... Um, I have been stitching. Oh, sorry. I don't know why I'm so disorder. Here it is. Um, I've been stitching Goat Load by Plum Street Sampler. Um, my friend Maggie gave me this pattern when she was finished stitching it. And I just think those goats are very cute. And it reminded me of the mountain goats I saw when we were on vacation yeah. in the mountains. And so I'm stitching them. Oh, and you're making good progress. Yeah, here they are. Sorry, my fabric is creased. But there we are. This is... I honestly don't even know. I think this is um, a chocolate fabric by, I don't know. Extrude was, Design. No, it wasn't Extrude. It was, I don't remember. It was a scrap. Extrude does, does milk chocolate. I don't, oh, maybe I'm wrong then. Chocolate milk? No, milk, milk chocolate. I think it's milk chocolate. Okay, I could be totally wrong. Um, but yeah, it was a scrap in my stash, so I pulled it out, and I was like, that looks good. So I'm just using the called four colors. I am worried a little bit about that goat. He's a little, he's fading. You can see it better like in person. Yeah. But on here, he's, he looks a little transparent. That's fine. So stitching that. And then, let's stick everything back in here so I don't lose it. Yep. Okay. I have to keep organized. Um, I think I, hmm, I don't remember if I showed my li live on little, um, I'll just do a quick show. I haven't worked on it since the summer stitch day, so I can't remember if I filmed after the summer stitch oh, day or before. Uh, so. I think you were, I think you were showing, because you were going to fill it in at summer stitch That's day, right. right? Okay, so yeah. you probably haven't shown it. So me. yeah, Live on Little, Plum Street Samplers. It is huge and beautiful, big and beautiful. It is. And I, what fabric is that? Uh, Hog bristle. It's the what's called for. It's hog bristle. Oh, okay. Um, fox and rabbit. Fox and rabbit. I believe it's forty. Count maybe thirty. I think it's thirty six. Anyway. Oh, you got a lot done on the roof. Yeah. Look at that. Yep. So I got a small start. Right. And then of course I'm using our floss drops. You got some too. Our friend yes! Jessica Sweetwater Stitcher. And she sent me some too. Jessica, oh. you're so sweet. Thank you. So cute. And she sent a little. Look at this cute little. Um, Yes, the floss, the floss yeah. plane. It's like scissors and... Yeah, so it's a cool I haven't cool started accessory. the project, but yeah, these are really cute to floss cards. I know, that was so <laughs> nice of her. Thank you, Jessica. Yeah, so Live Thank on Little, you. that's a really a really fun one, but it's going to take me a while. That's okay. Wait, the stitch count on that is like 300 by 300 and something isn't it it's uh, it's huge yeah it's really big 307 by 207 yeah, yeah yeah it's big nothing to sneeze at no okay and that's actually in i don't think oh. you showed that that's oh, um that's my so July. so much to love so much to love yeah we're part of the um monthly well bag of the month club but we didn't know that we joined the bag of the Cause we're weird like that. I was like, oh, oh hey, guess what? I joined the So Much to Love Bag of the Month Club. She was like, so did I. I. We joined the same month. It's weird because we do it at the same time without even talking and we to each other. Don't even know that we've done that. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. Yeah, it is, <laughs> but it's fun. Creepy in a good way. Uh, okay. Um, I don't have anything in this bag. I think I was saving that for. Oh, Paul. that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I have a teeny tiny start on Liz Matthews um, Quaker Pumpkins. Oh, I love this pattern. I know. I, I really this up like last, this pattern. last fall, yeah. and I never got around to starting it. So, he, you know what? He, it's the same fabric as I'm stitching goat load on. Let me look because I have Oh, the, my gosh. Is it really? Yes, ma'am. It's pretty fabric. It is. You are right. What? Milk chocolate, x -Jew Design. Oh, x -Jew Design. Okay. Because I liked it because I ordered That's what some I of that. I doubting you. Because I liked it. Okay. I'll show you my huge start. 
You haven't cut that fabric yet though. No, but I got it. I got it. I got it a keepsakes cut to the size I need it, so. Oh my gosh, it's, there's no way it's going to be that big. Well, either that or Stephanie's messing with me. <laughs> she Are wouldn't do sure that. Are you sure about that? I promise you, yeah. Oh, wow. Because when you go to keepsakes and you get a piece of fabric for a specific project, they will write the name of the project. Yeah. They will write um, the stitch count. They will write down your um, your margins. Well, and, and it's all surge, too. Yes, so. Yes, that is what I'm using, and that's going to be used for wow. the whole thing. Ta-da! That's going to be really pretty, though. It's and that's a sad start, to get but it's framed. a start, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. I love the colors. I do, too. Don't want to lose my needle there, okay? Don't forget your pattern. Oh, nope. Thank you, ma'am. Don't forget your pattern. I have one more to show, and then that's all my whips. Oh. Um, Sorry, my nail's about to fall off. <laughs> She anyway. canceled her narrow appointment to, to do it. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Well, to do um, to I'll do our tomorrow. Too. I'll sacrifice for the good of the channel. Yeah. Or well, supposed to last night, and then I had an unexpected Stuff softball happens. meeting. That well, you know, no if the worst thing that happens is that I have to reschedule my nail appointment. I guess we'll be yeah, okay, right? But... First world problems. <laughs> All right. Let Love Rain, I've shown this before. I've been stitching on it a while. I'm, it's Teresa Kogut. Um, I'm stitching it with my friend Kirby. We're doing a stitch along together and we're just trying to knock out a page a month. It's 10 pages, so. And you're on page what? I feel like I'm on the fourth installment, yeah, so. Oh my gosh, this We started is so with this gorgeous. up here, then we moved here, and then we've been moving down. So, here we are. You gotta get a close up of that, Sarah. Come closer. I'll go up. Oh, you know, didn't somebody ask you what color blue? Oh, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, you can put that in people. the notes too. And I'll tell you right now because I'll put it in the notes. And yeah. I'll tell you now. But you changed the I dark blue, right? I did change blue, a right? couple of things. So I changed the blue. God, I love that. Look at that. I changed the blue. That house. The blue that's called for so pretty. was, let me look here so I don't tell you anything wrong. Okay, maybe, this is maybe gorgeous. not. This Okay. No. Okay, I don't know. I can't find it right now. I'll put it below. So I don't remember what the blue that was called for is, but I changed mine to 924 because I needed it to be a little darker. It's DMC. So You're I, using all DMC, aren't you? I am. So the green in the pattern, it calls for um, Oscar. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Week Study Works Oscar. I started with the Oscar. I did not like how it looked. It was too, it was not showing up good on my fabric and it was looking too close to the browns. So I changed mine to DMC 469. All this green? Yeah, all the green is 469 DMC. So all on the border. Yeah, and then the dark, the, the dark, dark brown in there, that part they call for Weeks Dye Works Onyx. Oh, onyx. like the roof of the house? Yeah, onyx, of course, is a little more black. Oh, that's black. like a, yeah. I wanted, uh, there's a lot of browns and, and, you know, earthy colors in there. So I chose um, DMC 3, what is that, 3371? Or is it 3371 or 3771, the dark one? Uh, 3771, Is it I that? Think. Okay, yeah. I think it's that so, one. So, yeah, I changed those three colors. And this is, this is, this is beautiful. This yeah. is 46 count. And it is really gorgeous. It's a, a fox and rabbit um, prehistoric. prehistoric, yes. So. It's really gorgeous. It's a labor of love. It's going to take us a while, but it's... But it's you're doing great. Amazing. So it's 10 pages and you're on page four. Yeah, I'm finishing up page four and so she and I are starting on page five as you're well. You're almost... So. so you're almost done. Look at that. I'm almost halfway. I'm or halfway, <laughs> I mean. That's what I, that's <laughs> I, what I meant I to say. Done. That's what I meant to say. I predicted to, to Sarah because they did take a month off. We took a month off, yeah. Um, or like they were a month behind, so they just kind of stayed on that month. But I predict that... You won't be more than two, two and a half months off finishing that. Yeah, I hope not. I really don't think so. The only thing that gets a little tedious is that border. The The same border goes all the way around and it's a huge pattern. So yeah. I do get a little tired of stitching that border, but yeah, if that's the worst thing that happens, we're okay. That's all my whips. Yeah. Nice. So, whew. so, um, before we move into haul, yes, 
Um, I do want to share something because I know not everybody likes to watch haul. So if you are just here for the stitching, that's cool. But I do want to share one more thing before we move into our haul. Um, our friend, we've talked about her before on Instagram. Oh, she's, yeah. <laughs> on Instagram, she's Pixel Pixie Stitch. X -stitch, X -stitch. Excuse me. Yes, her name is Christy. And of course, I'm dumb and I didn't mark the pages. Mm -hmm. But Christy has just had two patterns release in the last two just cross stitch magazines so she has one in the christmas ornament edition this just came out yes just, just came, came i just got it yesterday in fact and i didn't even realize she had a pattern in here until i was looking i was like i know her so that's her pretty pattern, cool yes ma'am her pattern is i know it's back here hold on sorry it's right here Okay, it's right in the corner here. This one right here. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, it's all about the sweets. That is really Look cute. Look at that cute, the cute little mouse and the little mug with Santa's face. What are these, pretzels? Yes. I love it. Oh, yeah. that's cute. Her, her designs are usually pretty colorful. Mm -hmm. um, she has a beautiful um, design that just came out for Expo. Um, it said, it's like a tree and there's like rainbow colors and I believe it says... All colors are rainbow colors or something to that extent. It's adorable. Aww. Very sweet. And then she has one in the other magazine. The regular cross stitch magazine. Yeah, the, right? the or the odd or Yeah, yeah, yeah. October. October. This just came out too. Oh, this is so cool. You know, I'm gonna I, it's they always have like the whole like roundup back here. But this is hers. That's hers right there. Look at that little squirrel. Hopefully you can see it. Yeah. The little squirrel and the bird, they're wearing plaid. Like the squirrel's tail. And what does that say? It says uh, fall friends. Fall friends. The squirrel's tail is like plaid and the bird's um, back feathers are plaid. It's so stinking cute. So, yeah, go check out Pixel, Pix Pixel Pixie X, X Stitch. Stitch on Instagram. Go support Christy. She's a new designer and we want to show her all the all the stitchy community love. So yeah. yay, Christy, we're happy. Congratulations. For you. Yes, that's awesome. Okay. Super cute patterns too. Yes, ma'am. We have lots of haul. We do. I hope you'll stick around with us. But, but I understand if we're, you at, don't watch we're at an it. hour and twenty six minutes. Wow. So if you're tired of us, it's fine. Yeah. But if you're still hanging out with us, thank you. Yeah. Paul, do you want to start? Okay, sure. I, I have a couple things I'll show. But just a couple. We're all getting, well, I, I have a lot of haul. <laughs> I have an enormous amount of haul. And I, oh. I spared, I didn't bring it all. But yeah, so this is a stand. Uh -huh. um, and it is, Sarah got one. We actually got the same same color. Hers is a little lighter than mine. Yes. But um, we have the big, um, we've shown it before. It's the. Um, yeah, mine's over here for the stuff on it. Jill Holt. Um, Lori Holt. Or Lori Holt. Be or, in my bonnet. It's a um, pink. Ours is pink. It's a metal stand. And it's, it's, it's larger. It's pretty big, yes. Um, and so bringing that to like a retreat and like sitting it down, it's, it's taller. And so it was kind it of was blocked. Hard to see our friends. Yeah, yeah. It kind of blocked me a little bit mm -hmm. with, um, with people, but this is just, it's perfect. It's adjustable. Yeah. And, um, you know, you can put your pattern here and then, you know, just kind of hold it. Oh, and I'm doing my own. <laughs> yeah. I really like it. It's, yeah. it's like, it's easy. And it was on Amazon. I think right. it was $10. It, it was very cheap. Yeah. Maybe 12. Didn't one of our stitchy friends tell us about You know this? what? Um, was yes, it Holly Tammy, or Tammy? Tammy and Holly had this at the Elizabethtown retreat that I went to, and they they had these. They come in like ten, many different 12 colors. Twelve different colors. Yes, we just happen to like the same colors. And um and so, but they're really nice. They're really cute. Mm -hmm. um, very sturdy and very portable. Very so, very because like I like to keep my other one here in my. I just keep mm -hmm. it up in my room and I put things on it. So. This one is going to be easier for me to take with yeah. me places. Yeah, and this is, you can even, like, it fits on the, just the arm of the sofa. And, mm -hmm. um, so, so, so we'll your, link. Just stick your chart in there. Yeah, we'll link it below. Yeah. So this was on Amazon, and yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't very inexpensive. Expensive. And this is good, too, for travel. You know, it's It would be a good too, gift for a stitchy friend, too. It would be. That's true. It would be a very good gift for a stitchy friend. I would have bought you one if you hadn't bought one already. Yeah. <laughs> That's always the way it works, right? right. Um, oh, the new, uh, well, I guess it's been a couple of weeks. Uh, Primitive and Punk Needle Magazine came out. 
Um, so there's lots of good stuff in this. This is the summer edition. edition. Actually, the fall edition should be coming out soon. Yeah, so this is actually this been, has out, actually a been out a little while. Yeah, so um, um, a couple other things. Um, this is a pattern that was exclusive to a new shop. Yes. Um, Welcome Stitchery. Welcome Stitchery, yes. And I saw one of my friends, Kim, got it, and I loved it. And I got it, and right when I got it, um, our friend Tammy, who showed us this, um, she finished stitching it, and so and she lent me her chart. Yeah, so I, can stitch it too. Thank so, you, Tammy. Um, I would have shown you um, my progress, but I think I have four stitches. Mm. In so you'll have to show us your progress next time. Next but it's time. adorable. So if you guys are interested, like she said, it is sold yes. exclusively by Welcome Stitchery. It is designed by Hands On Design. You have to go to their shop to get yeah, it. Yeah, it's their website is welcomestitchery.com. So you can go straight there. And um, if you're if you're in Blue Earth, Minnesota, that's where the shop is. So they'd be local to you. And I I just ordered the pattern, but my friend Kim actually asked them to kit it up for her, and they did. They that's awesome. Got her the fabric. One stop and, shop. Yeah. So um, I think they'll they'll do that. Um, here is another find that I got, and I got this because of Tammy and Holly. They're they're bad influencers so, for finding things. And, and we know that not everybody knows who Tammy and Holly are. They're, they're our stitchy friends. You, I've actually not met Tammy and Holly in person. I'm like, oh, you still haven't no, met them. No, I'm friends with them. We talk in our group chat and on Zoom um, and Instagram and all the things. Um, but you guys met We met them. at Quilter Station That's right. in yeah. April. And actually, um, we're going again. Unfortunately, Sarah is not coming because of her, wah, wah. I know, because of school. <laughs> um, but um, they, uh, so Holly actually lives about a half an hour from where we live. Mm -hmm. And um, and her, she goes to Keepsakes, that's her LNS shop. And so Tammy is her really good friend. They are friends since they were very little. And um, Tammy lives in Georgia now. And, um, and they... They get together often. They find ways to get together often. And they and actually, what better way than cross stitch retreats? I know, I know. So they actually went to StitchCon B, um, and we were at StitchCon A. Yeah, so we missed them. Um, and um, so um, they were at um, Elizabethtown. And the funny thing was, Tammy had a wedding that they were going to, she and her husband were going to in Columbus. So literally, and the wedding was on Sunday and this retreat was a one day retreat on Saturday. So they literally How like, it was that I know they literally drove through and then were there for the day. And so it was really fun because I haven't seen both of them since, um, April. Yeah, um, they're big influencers here. We're they big are, enablers. So they are, and they've been going to a lot of retreats together yeah. And they find lots of goodies. So this I thought was so cute. They both walked into the Elizabeth Town retreat, the Stacey Nash oh. retreat, with this basket. Look yes. at this. And look, it's got handles. Yes, handles. And it's very. It's got an. I have stuff in it here. It's got. A, it's very. Deep. It's very wide and it's deep. It's very yeah. nice. Yeah. I when I went stitching, um, I went to stitch at Keepsakes last week, and I took it with me, and it was perfect. It was perfect. There were two, two this is like a board. Um, and so she had like two different things that you could choose from. So the name of the shop is um, 1803 Ohio Farm Baskets. Um, that's actually, it's an Etsy shop and that's actually the name of it. Um, she's on Instagram as well. And I just saw a post, she had a bunch of other baskets, like different sizes and um, like she had a, another sign, like an oblong sign that said stitch and just okay. really, really cute stuff. So um, I'm not sure if she has anything in her Etsy shop right now, but you could message her and 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 just inquire. Sure. Um, so I just got this. Adorable. Uh, it's very fast shipping, quick. And um, yes. so I love it. My friend Kim got one too. So yeah, it's really cute. Really cute. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, all right. So haul. Oh, okay, so here, really quick. Sorry, Sarah, you can be my helper. So these are these are other colors of bags. The only bag color I didn't get was a blue one. Um, this, these are like the shepherd's bush. Like the one that you stitched scary on, correct? Yes, yes, okay. I'm sorry. So here's like, they have all these different ones. I bought all of them except for quilt. There's one that says quilt. 
but here's one that says stitch. I love the eye or uh, the, is that the eye that's the scissors or is that a T? I think it's a T, the scissors right here in the middle. It's the T. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I have to look at it. Sorry, you're like, what that's are you okay. About? Yeah. And you could, you know, you could, you could stitch this on a red one and, um, um, or change the colors or yeah. whatever you'd like. So, um, and again, all of these are, are this, the bags are larger. So you're using, um, like Weeks Dye Works and DMC, but they're number five, um, because, you know, the whole, the, you need a, a yeah. thicker strand. So here, this one's cute. Flag. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Now there is um, a, just another button um, embellishment. embellishments that come with this. I ordered them. They haven't come yet. Okay. Um, but Keepsakes ordered all of that stuff. So they have all of that in. Actually, I had to call to ask a question. And Susan, who made that bag, mm -hmm. um, answered the phone. She said, oh, I'm, I'm kidding them all up right now. So this one's really cute. I like this. My friend Kim got this one, too. It's queen. This is really cute, yeah. And I love, I love how bee. you can do, you know, the little ones with the fob. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, actually, I got the turquoise color to do the clean one mm -hmm. on. And, uh, and I think these would make great gifts. Like, yeah. just because they're really, it, I think they're a faster stitch. Yeah. Um, this one's Joy. I thought that one was... Oh, that's pretty. Pretty. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and there's an embellishment pack that goes with that. And then... Um, Oh, and then the last one, which there is a quilt one, which I didn't get, but the last one is heart. Pretty. And there's an embellishment pack for that. So there's an embellishment pack for all of them except for scary and stitch. So, so I thought those were really cute. And very cute. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Here, did you want to put these over there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I did order some bags. Socks. Socks. I know. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> Sorry, it's <laughs> reaching the height, but these are really cute, and we already talked about some of them, so I'll go quick. So we already told you about the So Much to Love bag. This was the July one, mm -hmm. and if you get the bag of the month, so like we're in the club, so yeah. it comes every month, um, you, like we're guaranteed to get one, and you can opt to get um, the sidekick, and so I think both Sarah and I yeah. get the sidekick, yep. which is a little bag, but you get like a little goodie bag with it. Yeah, a little, little fun stuff. Yeah, with it. and so in the July bag, you got this really cute pattern. Yes. And this is um, Every Heart Beats True, and this is an Annie B's pattern. I think I showed all this on my last video. Oh, did you? I'm I believe sorry. I did. Now, oh, okay. Now that you're showing it, I don't I think I watched everything. Okay, and then these little like fiber thingies, but then you have you the. Didn't watch um, my whole video? I don't think I saw the whole video. I'm so sorry. And then that's the show. Show that's the August one. Oh, are you trying to distract me? We, <laughs> we just got the August one. We just got the August one. Got some pretty birds and butterflies. It's really pretty. So cute. And the back is look at the back. It's like a blue. Yes, I love that. Um, our pattern is a petal pusher called Blue Bonnet Hill, and one of those little tart yeah things. So cute. Got the little sidekick. The sidekick's always the same. Oh, and there part. was a needle minder with that yes. one too. Look at it. That's cute. So cute. Yeah. So. And then she puts like a bag of tea in there. Yeah, there's and, like, tea. And like little candies. Like there was like that um, taffy. What's that? That taffy from the beach. Saltwater taffy. Oh, yeah. There's saltwater taffy in it. So. Uh, so painted leaf has been. Oh, they've been knocking it out of the park with these fabric bags. Mm -hmm. So this was another bag that Painted Leaf did. Now she did a restock of, she had this and she has blue, the blue, blue, one, yeah. the blue one, which I think I had a project in that I showed. Okay. Um, I don't know if there are any on our site. Do you? I know that when she puts them on, they go quick. They so do. Yeah. Go so check is, it out. This is all the Blackbird fabric. And, you know, Sarah and I get the, um, the notions bag and then the thread, the thread bed. bed. Yep. And um, this is a medium size. She also does a large size. And the large has a handle. Yes. And, oh, and here's a large. There you go. I don't know, did you show this one? You probably showed this one then. I don't remember, but I probably did. Oh, I love I this love it. one. I love it, Busy Bee. Yeah, it's really cute. So here's the handle, and I love it. She's got these cute buttons. So this is the large size. This is like the medium size. So, and you can put an 11 by 11 Q snap in here. Yeah. Um, with your Good stuff. those bigger projects. Yeah. And then, um, and then we showed this. I'll just show it again. But she did these cute Teresa Kogut whimsy bags. Mm -hmm. And um, 
And then she did the blue threads that bind bag. And I think, I think those are all the ones that she, I usually that get all of them. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I did get a couple other bags. Um, actually, my friend Kim went to, she had a piece that she did and she had it framed. She did Kringle, which is, who is that by? I don't remember, but it's a lot of, a lot of people have stitched it. It's oh, a it's really beautiful. big yes. pattern. And it's like a whole house. Yeah. Um, and it, like Christmassy is, but I don't know who stitched it, but, um, or who, who the designer is, right. but she went up to, um, it's in craft gallery craft gallery yes and that's where she got it framed and when she was up there there's a gal and her name um she does bags by beth right here and so um she texted me and showed me a picture of the bag and i'm like well of course i'd love to have a bag so you never say no to a bag no no and she so has a little handle you can get that at craft gallery yes okay. so i don't know if if Bags by Beth is sold anywhere else, but I know she sells them at yeah. Craft So if Gallery. you guys know if, if she sells them anywhere else, let us know. We, we, we're glad to give her a shout yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then um, this bag. Oh, how cute. I know, this is really cute. So I've been seeing others get this bag, and I believe that she did some bags at StitchCon. Yeah. So and I think she was at StitchCon A. Oh, I know. I didn't get to meet her, I but I know, I, can, I know her, her. face. Um, but her stuff, I think, got like all sold out. But she is Creative Country Girl, and her name is Tammy Blaylock. Mm -hmm. And I got one of her bags off of her website. I know, and I love this. Okay. I know, I love this like patch, mm -hmm. you know, like this patchwork. I don't, I'm not a quilter, I don't know what it's called. But then I love I can the, imagine that takes some time. The strawberries. Yes, they're very pretty. Um, they're they're it's very pretty. Yes, it is a nice size bag. Mm -hmm. um, so she has different, different sizes. This is a medium bag and I just really liked it it just it was cute and it's it's um, very um, it's got a what do you call that like a foamy yeah or like a very thick yeah it's not thick flimsy. lining yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and then she also puts a little um, a little thing in here if you want to put your like a little hand, if oh, you want to like put your floss drop on there, there, or yeah, yeah, or your scissors or whatever. So. Yeah. But I just thought this was so cute. I love strawberries, and um, so I, I, I like love dishes. I've had a problem with dishes my whole life, and so the yeah. first set of non-essential dishes I bought are were strawberry dishes. So. It just reminds me of my strawberry dishes. That was funny. I was wondering where you're going with the dishes for a minute there. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. So, <laughs> so when I saw the strawberries, I was like, oh, I have to have that. So, gotcha. Um, okay. And then two more. So I think I messed up. I, I ordered this from the brass button. And I think, I thought it was the bag of the month. But then when I got it, I because the bag of the month was, um, last month was like peaches. And so... I don't think this is the bag of the month. I think this was just another bag that I scored. But wait a minute. The bag of the month always comes with um, a, a Notions yes. bag and a thread bed. Right. But then it usually has like another little surprise thing. Oh, okay. And and this is obviously like a honeycomb. Very cute. Yeah. But it's adorable. I love it. And then it's got the skips. The skips. Skep. The skep that we talked about. Yeah. And then... Um, and then she always does coordinating fabric. Um, so I, but I really love it. So yeah. I think I actually got like a different trio, but look at how pretty so that fabric cool. is. And then this. Mm -hmm. So I so actually cute. really love it. It's uh, really yeah. pretty. I think um, your mistake paid off. I think it did too. I think it did too, but I love it. I just got it uh, yesterday, I think. And then lastly, yeah. I, I bought a, yes, I bought, this is from Tiger Lily, Teresa, right, Teresa? Shoot, I'm sorry. It's from Tiger Lily. Tiger Lily Designs. Tiger Lily Designs. Yeah, I've heard her name, I can't remember. I know, I'm we'll so sorry, I'm, I'm embarrassed, I'm so sorry. This is um, one of her new designs. You can buy this pattern, um, but, um, she put these, these are all like one of a kind. So this, this, actually the one I have, this is like an antique stitch. And that's actually piece. stitched. It's not yeah. like printed. No, it's actually um, stitched and it's an antique that's stitch awesome. piece. 
And so, and again, strawberries. Um, but it's really nice. You open it up and um, it's like a little portfolio. It's like a trapper keeper for yeah, your stitching. Yeah, but it's nice. So it's got two zippered sides yeah. and then it's got pockets, pockets. Nice in rainbows. there. So yeah, so it does fit. It fits, you know, a project. Um, your pattern fits nicely in yeah. here and your floss. And um, I think it's a good thing like for travel. Absolutely. You know, cause you can kind of put maybe a couple patterns in here. Yeah. And um, so I wanted to try it and I'm not disappointed. It is, it's really nice. Very cute. Very nice. So, um, what else you got? Those are my bags. I know it's getting a little ridiculous. I have a couple patterns. I'll just at least, show. At least we recognize that. Yeah, I'll show a couple patterns, but I, I, I can certainly save stuff for um, another time. Yeah, because we probably won't have anything to show after our expo yeah. pre-orders come in. Well, you know what? I do have. Um, I'm gonna. Sorry. <laughs> I'm. I'm not gonna show all of these. Um, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you something that you can look forward to next time. So I mentioned earlier that I am, um, in the Teresa Kogut Patreon, um, club. And so, um, you do get patterns every month. It depends on what there's four, four tiers. Yeah, and so, so the I'm higher, the higher tier you are, the more, the more you get. stuff you get. Right. Yeah. So she also does an ornament every month. So. I, I have a bunch of stuff, um, and I next time I will show you some of the different things that she has um, that you can get as a Patreon, like her ornaments and stuff, because I know this is getting really long. Um, so this I wanted to show you. I loved this. This was actually, this is just a new release um, from Hands On Design, but this was actually in a So Much To Love bag, uh, project bag, so it mm -hmm. came out. So people in so, so much to yeah, yeah, we got it early. Yeah. I can't remember what month this was in, but I absolutely loved it. And the call for fabric is a fabric by Stephanie. Um, but we just got this fabric in the mail today. And I, sorry for the crinkly. Sarah and I are in the um, Be Stitch Me Club. And I love this fabric. <sighs> Look at that. Is that gorgeous? It's very gorgeous. Oh, I am in love with this fabric. What was it called? Water Nymph? Yeah, water nymph. I get 32. What do you got? 40 or 40? 40. Uh -huh. 40? Beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. So I think that all looks I good. was thinking oh, I'm gonna think stitch so. this. And I do have the fibers. Um I'm not gonna grab all this out for you, but one of them is um me and my plastic. <laughs> hard to get well, now that you've shown your other bags you can put I stuff know in. I can put stuff in them right so so here's the colors so I think just this blue one I would have to change but I'm at, I'm really excited I think it'll be really pretty because mm -hmm. that blue one will might just need to go a little darker I don't know it's showing up pretty good it? in on the camera yeah 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 it's good lighting we're, we're in front of the window and it's actually good lighting yeah so um but we Sarah and I both just opened this today it's beautiful so I love that. Um, I got a couple other other patterns. Um, another one that I got. So I I want to try to learn how to sew, not not anything major, but just like you know to sew a pillow and stuff like that. And I do like Hands On Design, and Hands On Design pairs up with a comp company called Simple Stitches. And they are on Instagram, and then they have their own shop. It's not an Etsy shop. It's a simplestitches.com. Like uh -huh. Yeah. And so, and Hands On Design, like, um, several of her pieces, like her Chalk Talk series, um, she um, partnered with them, and there's different fabrics that you can make those into, like, a bag. Yeah. Um, or, like, a pillow or different things. And so I have collected those. And um, Simple Stitches just had a fall. Um, they do like uh, sewing boxes that you can buy. And you, it's kind of a mystery, so you don't really know what you're getting um, when you get it. Um, and Hands On Design had a pattern in it. I actually knew there was going to be a Hands On Design pattern in it. So this is the pattern. And then all this fabric came, came with it. Um, and then there's also other patterns in there to sew. Um, but uh, so I got this. So... I am excited to try to start sewing and learn how to how to sew a little bit more. Sarah's just looking at me like, uh-huh. 
<laughs> like, Sarah, can, can you come over and help me thread this? We all got to start somewhere. Yep, yep. Um, Brenda Gervais. I know a lot of people got this. I know oh, a lot of right. people are finished. Our friend Holly got it and finished it, like, I think before I even, like, put it in my stash. Um, but be ye thankful. Such a pretty, mm -hmm. such a pretty pattern. Um, and I thought this is really cute. This is Brenda Gervais. Oh, that's cute. Souvenirs of the heart. Mm -hmm. Just a little pillow. I love the little, um peppermints on it yep I thought that was really cute and I did buy this at the stitch con it's stitch con one. I yeah. did did I show it yeah because we showed our haul from stitch con. okay so I I'm I'm starting this I cannot wait to start it I actually ordered the fabric it's 27 count taupe and I ordered and it's the witch next door primrose cottage. sorry it's the witch next door primrose cottage and I ordered all the fibers and so I can't wait. It should be in any time now. And I'm going to start it. And I'm going to stitch it. And we'll see if I get that finished before Halloween. I'm not making any bets. Okay, and I'm going to show one last thing. Wow, this is long. <laughs> this is really long. Oh, no, I still got to show my haul. Yeah, okay. So this, I found this. I thought it was really cute. This is um, Threadwork Primitives. And it's Common Thread Stickers Map. So I've been seeing a lot of people go to um, retreats and different things. And they have like a retreat mat. Um, and it might have like where you can put your needle on it and your scissors and different things. And um, so I would like to make one and then stitch this like in it. I have big plans. We'll see. <laughs> you got a lot of plans, I girl. know. But I just thought it was pretty. It says the love of stitching is on common thread. Very cute. So, um, I bought that. Awesome. All right. I have fabric, but I'm not going to show it to you. It's pretty. You'll probably see it with projects. I know. We have a lot of, um, a lot of sorry, fabric. Sorry, this is kind of a mess, but I am in the Color and Cotton Thread Club, so I get three skeins. And, like I said, it's a mess because I was putting stuff in oh, here. Oh, wait. Did you just join the Color and Cotton Thread Club? Yeah, this was my first one. Oh, So, I get okay. three skeins, and so they're really cute fall colors. Which ones are you getting? Are you getting the, so there's like two different things you can get. You can get the regular ones or you can get like the special ones. I don't remember. Okay. I don't remember. Yeah, those are pretty colors. But I have been ordering some charts lately because I don't have enough to stitch. <laughs> we don't have enough charts. Right, either, right, right, right. So I'll just show them to you really quick. I love dogs and so I wanted to stitch um, this oh, Lizzie K. So Quicket. It's called Dog Sleeve Paw Prints. Oh, that's adorable. That's Lizzie Kate. Uh huh. Oh, that's yeah. really cute. Um, oh, you got more I'm Lizzie really Kate. loving. Well, these are heart and hand. I'm really oh. loving the heart and hand We Santas. So this one's from 2018. That's cute. This one is 2014. I love the animals. Oh, those are so cute. I know. And I did pre-order the new um, Wee Santa for this year. I did, too. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine I that. I did, too. Yeah. Um, I had to go order this after Jessica Sweetwater Stitcher showed it on her channel. Oh, because what is that? It's a little Blackbird booklet um, called Tricks or Treats. Oh, how cute. And it's cute. got several just different small patterns inside. Very cute. Very sim simplistic. Oh, and it's by Blackbird. Yep. So it's just a little... So cute. Jessica, oh, I'm sorry. I'm very behind on Floss Tube, and I, I have not watched any Floss Tube. Well, you didn't even watch all my videos. I so. know. I So please excuse me for not knowing these things, Jessica. <laughs> I do love you, and I watch you, and I love to see all of your creativity and everything. So I will be watching you. Don't worry. I will catch up. And then she's going to order all the things. This is really cute. I might just take it home with You're me. You're not going to. Um, anyway, I grabbed this at Keepsakes the last time I was there. It's called A Murder of Crows. It's by La Dida. Oh. Very cute. That is very cute. Yeah, I've never seen that one before, so. I haven't either. Another Lizzie Kate dog one. This is called Dog Lessons for People. Oh. Yes. So it says things like, be loyal and faithful, play every day, drink lots of water. Very Those cute. Are good, I know. Good things to live by. Right. The dogs know what's up. I have um, a heart and hand friendship garden pillow Oh, here. that's another. Now, you did the, um, I loved your video and the, the part movie. you watched. The, yeah, yes. 
<laughs> the, but the meaning that you know when you were yeah. stitching that the and, one I had stitched yeah on I have I have that pattern I bought it but yeah. I haven't started stitching it yet but I think um, this, I like the saying it says a friend overlooks your broken fence oh, and admires the flowers in your garden yeah very nice that's nice um two more I oh I recently had um won some patriotic charts from Manny Didana oh you won four yeah like that was really yeah, great. Yeah, I hit the jackpot with that. Yeah. And so I went. I was checking out her website, um, and she. I think maybe it was Etsy. I can't remember if she's on Etsy or she has a website. It probably says on here. Yeah, she has a website. www.mannydidana. I bought bought stuff IT. off a web off Etsy too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's on Etsy too. So. I got this. It's a Christmas pattern. It's called Santa. Please stop oh, here. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, look at the little reindeer and the yes. Santa sleigh. I know. That's really Very cute. Very cute. Does it come with the little embellishments? Um, no. Oh, that's a frame. Yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. Very cute. These are really cute. And then I've seen several people stitch this. I, I first saw it um, from Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch. Oh. And hers was amazing. Did it's she a, stitch it? She did. Oh. Yeah. But she stitched. Let me show you first. She stitched this on green fabric. It's um, Barbara, Barbara Anna. It's called Christmas Joy. And oh, that's really pretty. Yeah. I have not seen that. It's adorable. Although I've. You've probably seen been it. very out of the loop. Lately. I love Santa and I love his little stockings. Now his stockings or his leggings or whatever you want to call them and his shirt have like black stripes. I think those would be really cute, like green stripes. Oh yeah. Isn't he cute? So she Elizabeth Ann stitched that on green. On a green, yeah. That the the things just really popped. On yeah. That, so yeah, I can't wait to stitch that. Oh, so that's pretty. Oh, you got some good patterns. Ooh, well, so did you. Yeah. We're gonna be busy. Maybe we'll have so much that we make two-hour videos all the time. <laughs> you know what I, I love did? you, but I don't want to. I don't want to watch. I, I know. Do, uh, I know. It's videos sorry. All the time. Yeah, I, I think this is a first. So yeah. But we 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 actually talked. We are gonna get a schedule together, and we keep saying that. No, Actions but we really are. Words. Yeah, but we are because you know we're we busy. Yes, and and um, and it's hard when unexpected things happen, and then we can't get together. And yeah. So um, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to be more mindful about it and and more planful be, and yeah. yeah. So we have yeah. a lot of fun stuff to share. Yes. So. Exactly. And we want to spend time with you guys and we yeah. won't, don't want to bombard you with all of our stuff after we've been gone for like two months. So, yeah. so if you still stuck around, thank you. We appreciate you. And, um, if you have any comments for us or questions, put them down below. Don't forget if you want to, um, win one of, um, Mrs. <coughs> AZ family zoos patterns, make sure you say the word zoo in your comment. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll put all of our information down below, our Instagrams, our, um, our um, email. Yeah, we have a lot to stuff. add. Yeah, so with no further ado, we will say goodbye, <laughs> and we'll see you soon. Okay, right. thanks everyone. Bye, guys. See you soon.